Hello. How's everyone doing? Same opening as always. My mic has been glitching out so bad recently and I'm getting scared that I'll need a new one. And I don't want to buy a new one because I've got too much. My life's too much of a mess to have <laughs> to buy new one of these. So, all right. Hello, Zoe. Hello, <laughs> Mega Chad. Hello, nerd. Merry Christmas. Nico Peach, Travis, Elias, all the besties, Kyle, Dell. How are we? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So here's the plan for today. We are I bringing back something I used to do on the channel a long time ago, which was a like sort of podcast thing I did with a friend of mine uh, from when I lived near the GTA. So, and the intro episode is going to be niche PowerPoints of our interests. So I have started already um, this beautiful uh, masterpiece. <laughs> so I'm making a PowerPoint for to teach my friend about girl world. So this is what we've got. I hope you like my I've only done this slide so far. But this is what I've this is what I got going on. Because Teachers College taught me how to make PowerPoints. That and and like three other things. So <laughs> and then I'll like upload a PDF on Twitter if people want to like use it maybe cuz it'll be funny. I must move myself around. Woo. All right, kids. So today we're learning about Goro World. So we have like, so I found this is an Among Us themed <laughs> PowerPoint template from slides ago. So we're going to use this because I, this is also just like, I feel like topical. No Nikocado because Nikocado's too mainstream. So this is what we're working on today. We are doing a group project. So what we're going to do is I'm going to split my display on the side and we're going to have we're going to start with hmm we need to start with a video that introduces Amberlynn and a video that introduces Foodie Beauty and a video about reaction channels. I remember there was a really good video about reaction channels a while ago. Let me see if I can... Um, if I can find it. I was watching... Uh, French fry girl before this. Flobby Bobby Fooby Booby is also a gamer now, question mark. So that's kind of epic. Um, I have so much stuff open. Holy moly. Okay, hold on. I didn't organize my tabs enough before this. So now I have screwed myself. All right, kids. So. There was a video on, I watched this a long time ago. Oh, so it's Unpoetic Justice. Oh, it's this one. Um, <laughs> they still upload? Two months. Yeah, well, for these types of videos, that's pretty normal. All right. So. Hmm. 
Because this is too um, constructive. I saw she's playing, f yeah, phasophobia, yes. I just don't want Chantel to try to strike me for stream sniping her, so. Let's start with this. Because I remember this video being really good. That's the walking music! Ba 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 ba! <laughs> Christ. <sighs> my mom would be so ashamed of me. All right, so let me just make myself bigger so I don't. Let me just set up my screen for what we're or for our activities today. All right. So make me smaller again. This is what we're going to be rolling with, and I'm going to put myself right here in the middle. All right, kids. So we are. Um, we need to put this like this. So I guess put me at the bottom. I have just set this is just gonna be an interesting setup because I've never uh, split screen my monitor on stream before. It's also because my dis my um, display is really really big. So it um. Doesn't fit well in the uh, proportions of OBS. Anyway, we could just leave it like that with a little bit of yellow poking, 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 poking out the top. So, let us begin. Oh my god, people didn't know that Foodie Beauty has, has the Muslim era. That's crazy. All right. My hair. I personally okay. take too much Kids. time to do my makeup, to do my hair. Let's. To get dressed, to just simply. Let anymore. I should, I was going to click my notification thing. That would have done myself so dirty potentially because sometimes people comment like absolutely nuts things. Wait, what? All right, I was getting confused. Now let's go back. All right. So. Mika Def had a Virgo moon? No, I don't. I'll give y'all my whole chart right now because this comes up way too often for some reason. Astrology people, listen once and listen quickly. I am a sun. My sun is a cancer. My moon is Aries. Mercury is cancer. Mars is also cancer. Jupiter is in Taurus. I don't know what any of this means, by the way. I just have this saved because so many people ask me. Saturn is also in Taurus. Uranus in Aquarius. Neptune is also in Aquarius. Um, that's Shakara. I know who that is. Um, my Pluto is in Sagittarius. North Node, which I don't know what that means, is Cancer. Uh, Chiron. Girl. Sagittarius. Ascendant in Aquarius. And something called MC is also in Sagittarius. Take with that what you may. Cause I don't know. What's ascending mean? Is that rising? Oh, ascending is in Aquarius. Anyway, back to this. So. We're just gonna- we're gonna play this quietly in the background while I construct the PowerPoint. 
Baylor for the um, super chat. I appreciate it. Um, All right, kids. Well, better in what sense? So let's sense start. We're going to do three long. sections. Okay. It gaze long enough into an abyss. The abyss Who gaze back into you. are this quote has appeared the girls? Culture. It basically implies right. that what this you format's a bit annoying because I have to do each text twice like that this. when it's like, like titles. Watching communities on the internet that revolve around what people have labeled as lol cows. In this video, we will go over a certain community that revolves around discussing the messy lives of fat women who broadcast right, themselves on the internet. This community is often referred to as Hater Nation. Hater Nation specifically who revolves around two women on the, the internet. Girls. Obese YouTuber Amberlynn Reed and other obese, I'll bet slightly less obese YouTuber, Foodie Beauty. I'll bet, Before we I'll go bet further, slow, slightly less obese. Sponsor. Express VPN. Strawberry. Today's video is sponsored Himeko? by Express VPN. That's if you don't know what a VPN is, it basically epic. helps users make their Let's internet all that. more secure. Helps all right. stay anonymous. We are gonna. Be, I'm not getting paid by Express VPN, so we are gonna is a once Skip near that girl. pound YouTuber who started their fail the weight loss journey in 2013. I show when their channel started. Well, okay, hold on. Over the so who are the girls? Channel. But what is important here is that people really dislike Outlining their accusations of each her of the horrendous things. Though, for in my opinion, that is a he said, she said scenario. That I don't currently allegations that she is not the best pet owner and mostly just most that her constant lies about her diet and failed weight loss attempts. Prominent. And in many this, eyes, I will say, I will preface at the right now is this is one of those videos that are slowly, slowly. You see the see somebody fly. This one leans a little more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, charitable towards Amberlynn. Just wanted to get rid of that. It's bothering me. Okay. So. Gaslight her viewers. Next, meet the other focus of this community, Foodie Beauty. She's a near. So this PowerPoint thing I had an, YouTuber, an, an, an idea of camera, before. And oftentimes flashlights but while she I, Oh boy, she, but like I want to. Um, another sideshow for this community to watch and gawk at. There are other fat girls as well that this community focuses on. These girls. I'll do this for another video, Amy's so it'll be fun. Journey and Life by Jen, among others. Holy now, moly! So this is still when, because it was 2020, wasn't it? Yeah, I was. I remember writing a midterm while watching this. <laughs> I watched this video. Um. When I was, so November 21st, 2020. So that midterm would have been for British Literature 1, I remember. Um, and it was like an online midterm that you had like two hours to do or something. So I put this video on like 1.2 or something so that it would like give me an idea of like my timeline. And then from there, I, uh, I was watching this while doing my exam. And that's my, like, memory of this video. It was, like, a really, like, a pretty stressful, um, because it was my first, like, online, um, sort of proctored exam. I had this playing on, like, my iPad on the table with my AirPods in because I had a lot of roommates and a lot of noise. It wasn't, like, proctored, like, with the camera and everything. I should say it was just kind of, like, they track, like, who's doing it when and if you're clicking off and things like that. All right. Back to this. Before but, we yeah, I was going to say, this is back when... Life by Jen and Amy's Life Journey were in Girl World, which I'm going to mention, but it's been a really long time. Like, Amy hasn't uploaded it, like, disappeared off the internet, like, three years ago. And, um, Life by Jen passed away last year. So. Essentially, I'm going to angle this where this is, like, essentially just a mainstream lol cow pipeline is kind of what, how I'm going to describe it. So. Mika's streaming again, content queen these past few days. Thank you. 
I'm also trying to like stream more because I'll I'll give you all a, a little a little scoop on something. I need to um I need to take a screenshot of it though because I'm not about to um dox myself. So I'll keep playing this while I look at my little screen. video, which focuses on the insanity and the downfall of the community. Let's take a brief moment to look into the. We gotta keep streaming so we keep practicing on how not to constantly dox ourselves on stream because that's been, that was a problem for a while. Um. YouTuber named Nutty Madame. This. That's why a lot of my streams don't stay up. ...obnoxiously reacting to a Twilight trailer, which resulted in she, herself, becoming a spectacle on the internet. Next, we go to when reaction channels had their first Oh, downfall. jinx. Sometime in 2015, there was a lot of people reacting to others' content and getting quite a lot of views. The most notable of the people doing this was a YouTuber named Jinx Reloaded. Jinx would end up becoming Jinx Reloaded. YouTuber iDubs in an episode of his series, Content Cop, thus destroying the popularity Here we of reaction go. videos for years to come. There have been reaction channels such as Fine Bros throughout the years. Also, another one I'd like to note that received a lot of controversy recently was one named Susie Lou. All right, kids. My nose itchy. Sorry. All right. I the worst part is like I'm waiting for like the random allegation someday that like I do substances or something because of how um itchy my nose gets just constantly. Okay. Now we have this here image. If it can you hello? Oh my god. This computer is way too much money to be treating me like this. There we go. That looks really tiny on this screen. I am not professional in any capacity. All right, champs. We see this. We need to zoom in a bit more. Hold on. So sad about Jen. Amy got scared away. Yeah, Amy got scared away. Um, Because... She was caught on camera whacking her kid with a spoon. Oh, that's cool. Okay, why is this not letting me zoom in more? Oh. Oh my god. Control plus. Here we go. Holy Moses. I'm such a boomer sometimes. This is ridiculous. All right. This. <laughs> So, when my theory... Oh, no, I already know I have allergies. Like, I i just am allergic. I'm allergic to dust. It's like... <laughs> you know, it, that's the one where it's like, well, it's going to always be a problem. We vacuum and sweep and stuff pretty often. It's just like... You know. All right. So we see this thing here where it says videos. It says uh, video shorts and live. That is um, just kind of saying like what y'all like to watch from me. What, you know, YouTube thinks people want to watch from me. In December, when I stopped teaching, I my live line at the bottom was one bar out of out of five which meant that 20% of my audience on average will watch a live stream of mine, which is like really low, obviously. This is saying more than usual because I've started going live every week or so, at least once. So this is what I'm trying to fix. I would like for this one to be full also. And what I want to do if I bring the podcast thing back is two podcasts a month, with at um so there'll be a video a week two podcasts a month two lives a month because the lives and the podcasts take way less um kind of uh prep and you know thought <laughs> for me in the sense of it's just gonna be a conversation with like a friend of mine for an hour or whatever and then i will thus i will be satisfying the audience's desire for content with my personality in it but then I can still get that wider audience from the video essay content. Lay says what I'm going to do until I get a real job. So after that, we'll see what happens. It would probably just be more like 
you know, three videos a month instead of four, really. That would probably be the way it changes. Anywho. So, also because you build way more, like, communities with, like, members and stuff. Because I also would like to kind of maybe have enough members and patrons to want to do, like, members-only lives and things like that, maybe. Things like those kinds of things. I need to kind of build. It's because I've spent, I always prioritize school so much that, like, I have yet to really put in the the effort of, like, building the platform, per se, you know? So that's what I want to do. This is annoying because it's not fitting. Oh. Well, then. All right. Well. But reaction channels kind of got kind of a renaissance with smaller creators. You want to do a podcast on trans stuff? Community. Hit me up. I'd say the first person to some. I have a lot of people in my life that are trans. I feel like that's not surprising because of like how mad I get when people say stupid stuff about trans people on the internet. Um, I feel like most of my trans friends are trans women, though. I know two trans men. Like, like in my immediate sphere, anyway. Like in, in and, and I'm saying like in real life that I've like talked to in real life, not just like online. Because I have online friends. I have another couple of uh, trans friends, trans women, and trans men. Um, but yeah, I don't think I had trans students though when i was teaching because i taught young i taught middle school and it's not really like happening yet a lot of parents you know are too um are very worried about doing any any um intervention like that at that age sometimes so it's way less common in middle school space a small creator by the name of how to cameron I oh thank you the first one i found he is also the first victim of kiwi farms in this community kiwi farms is a gossip website i talk about often on this channel he after making many successful reaction videos to fat women on the internet turned around and melted down telling others watching the fat girls that he is better and more handsome than them actively look on kiwi farms which is literally just as i mentioned before a forum website in which people just hate on Anne Reed, they just hate on her just because they want to feel better about themselves. These two people are ultimately sad, and I don't care about that argument because I do not want them subscribed or even watching my content. His channel hasn't really recovered since he ceased reacting to Amber Lynn Reed and Foodie Beauty. Eventually, others began reacting to fat women as well. And that so, was something, a phenomenon that I picked up on on my uh, in my Daniel Larson video. I know online trans people, they're all... Yeah, no, I agree, totally. Um, but actually, I want to do a poll. That's <laughs> sound weird, but it's <laughs> this. This is the very this poll is gonna be the very thing that all of those like uh, male commentary channels from yesterday. It's this is their biggest fear. This is the biggest fear of the Republicans. Is this poll that I'm making? Obviously, it's anonymous, but I'm still going to do a choose not to answer C result one option because I'm genuinely curious. I just want to know um, okay, are you cisgender is my poll. So also, if you're not binary, say no if you want. I'm just curious. I kind of want to know like what my demographics are like because this is not the type of thing that like YouTube will tell me. So. And obviously there's a choose not to answer to see results option if you're curious. Um, I obviously like, like again, I also want you to like so not only can y'all not see who answers what I can't see who answers what either. Um. It's just a curious, it's an interesting um, First is question, Gold. really. Charlie Gold is the largest hater in terms of subscriber size. She, she is no the longer the, the largest hater. I also think she's lost like 12 k the K subs or 13. So she's she at 124. How many are we at now? Oh, we didn't type anything. <laughs> Hold on. We didn't type anything. Whoa. Whoa. 
She's lost like almost 20,000 subscribers since this video. Hi, Mika. Happy Grammys Day. Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> is there a... Um, is there a website where I can do like a little like pick? You know what? It's like the, you do the Grammy pit predictions thingy. Do we know where that is? I would love to know. We have... The way that I have almost the 50-50 split, that's nuts. I love that for us. Genuinely. Yes, I know Charlie announced yesterday. I saw it on the um on the on the Twitter. Charlie, I have incredible like clearly I watched I have very, very mixed feelings on. Um I think she's way too much a lot of the time. And I think could like border like harassment. Same thing with FFGs like that too. But like. Have I been editing the wrong one? Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Can I just do this? Okay, I need to close this one. Oops. Of the Regina George of the Anti-Hater Nation. She started her channel in 2016, but I do there we believe go. Thank God. older videos about her weight loss have been privated. That isn't weird to me. People private videos. But the first video oh, yeah, we've were ones that did We've privated a lot of videos in our day, besties. The abusive story of her childhood. As a watcher, I actually enjoyed hearing her stories, and I really empathized with Charlie and thought she was great at speaking. Her joining Hater Nation will happen later in 2019. Who's saying I'm and wait, I hadn't heard about, about your right. her beginnings in the Hater Yeah, yeah I was well that would be my Other next poll. So let's end this Michael poll. Petty, a reaction channel that mostly reacts to Amberlyn Reed. Start a His poll. Commentary is humorous, but are very cutting and you a part of the LGBTQIA2S Pan Express Orange Plus. <laughs> I would argue that Community. it has more to do with her diet and her size than drinking water at a certain pH level. He is often considered the pioneer of fat girl commentary. Okay, I've theater. never watched that a Michael B. Petty video in my life, and I hear, I just, all I hear is that he's goaded. I feel like, um, this is a genuine, this is a genuine question for the chat I want to know. Um, and I can't do two polls at once, and I'm still doing this one, so... Is Alex's Shook the new Michael B. Petty in, like, the eyes of the general internet? Because I feel like he is. Because every time I see somebody comment on the reaction channels, they always just say they love Alex's Shook. Me too. <laughs> Me too. But, like, I'm just curious, you know? Okay, so let's let's start the gay poll. Gay, definitely non-derogatory, by the way. I love the gays. Um... I make my boyfriend watch a con. <laughs> so, but a lot of people seem like it's. I'm not saying that he's like, I'm not saying that he's like replaced him, you know? I'm saying like, way too nice. That's true. I've, I've just got, I've just started getting into Karina actually. This ally count for this no, because um I'm trying to see some eighty six percent. I love that. Like this is why I'm the enemy of the male commentary of like those like dude bro commentary channels because this is how gay my audience is, which I like live for that honestly. Um, obviously if you're, if you're not part of the LGBTQIA community, like that's also totally fine. And I like you just the same. I just, it just feels nice for like the, um, 
mission of the channel to kind of be like a safe space for people that like when a lot of marginalized people flock to a certain space it usually implies that there is a uh, safety that they Michael, feel so i like that also runs a reaction okay what's channel? section two so gonna be oh we gotta do reaction reactions. channels obviously these reactions tend to be less mean and petty and more lighthearted and goofy well, I really don't think I realized what I was getting myself into in that video. On program situation, she does. She's react- gone too. We've just got like, got bang, bang, bang. We've got like t- the people, all the people that have been taken. Like, like this video is obviously like too old. Um, but raw. <laughs> Zach has dogs and more nuance. I have a dog. He's over there. He's just sleeping. He's like. He Gus will like bundle like a cat where like you can't even see any of his body parts. So Alex can fall into bad content like mentioning Blair White you. Bro, the straights are not here while you are, but also are you talking about me? See, yeah, I don't know. I've never talked about my, um, you know, desires or whatever. <laughs> because, like, it's, there's something wrong with me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Where, like, it, just the thought of any of that stuff just makes me, like, deeply uncomfortable. And, like, I am essentially, like, very rarely ever attracted to people at all. So I never really want to be like definitive on anything because it's just so rare anyways. ...to overweight women while also relating it to her struggles as a large woman and vlogs her eating habits, which I might add has gotten her into some okay. commentary drama as of late for her food choices. The life right. of a free spirit. Or Does Callie. she still upload? She Do we know if Callie still uploads? I don't really know who that is though. They're not friends anymore. I know that. Videos. And likes to pride herself on showing receipts while she okay. flips her fan. She also Who are the girls? Why did I do three live streams? She ghetto, she loud. Her eyebrows, her busted wigs. The YouTube underground or Yahoo. Who's got a? She's a redneck. Who has a busted wig? It is a glorious day, a glorious day of another cycle from Chantel. Mm-hmm. John's peanut gallery. There's something wrong Thanks with all of us. <laughs> has the voice of Tommy Pickles. After a lot of time, people drop. Yes, that's cigarettes. true. I don't like how most reaction channels do not respect Chantel and Amberlynn. Yes, I say mean things. I surely do. I say honest, blunt things. Yeah, like she I said, it's just, I've literally been saying this, like, I swear to God, I, I have no friends left from high school because I didn't particularly like the people I went to school with. But if you were to ask someone who, like, actually, like, gave a shit about me at the time, I've always said, like, I've never had a definitive answer because it's just not something that I like. It's there's so many things wave in and out. So many things. Con- it's like very, very fluid and constantly changing. And my thoughts are all messed up. And I just choose not to think about it, I guess, probably. Reaction channels is the second section. I just exist and realize <laughs> I know um this is just a weird this is a super weird plug but I know um for those of you who like to read the spicy novels I know that um what's her name um Megan Ann gets a lot of sponsorships from like this company that does audiobooks for those types of books and they're like made for like for women and femme people like by women and femme people a lot of the time if that's something that you're into you might want to check that out um i think it's cool i've always just answered aren't they hot with i can see oh my god me too stop <laughs> okay we're not talking about this right now because i'm about to like have a existential oh, crisis yeah. stop it <laughs> i'm not saying that angrily the by the way i'm like oh my god reactions. okay but that also causes her to defend some questionable stuff. Young, dumb, honey bun. She's the goat! Six- the goat! <laughs> and I'm saying this entirely ironically, by the way, because, like, I became one of the biggest ops. Like, the most popular, some of the most popular videos on Young, Dumb, Honey Bun are mine and Alex is Shook's videos on her. And Alex is Shook used, I sent Alex 
uh, a Google Drive of all of my receipts on her because by the time he got to it, her channel had been scrubbed. You show my twin your video on education. I loved it. Maybe she wanted to get to her. Oh, cool. Thank you. Nary? Okay, hold on. Y B H yeah, Y D H B. Um, okay, wait, hold on. So now we're gonna look up because I actually want to know. Uh we have to probably just do Y D H B. So Rachel Oates' video is the second biggest. So it goes Alex, then Rachel Oates, then me. With my seventy two thousand viewed video. Oh, you probably can't see because of where my thing is. Oops. 72,000 views. Um, This video, I don't know if y'all would believe I scripted this in like 20 minutes. Because I was like going to film something else. I think I filmed the Rhetoric or Keemstar this day too. And then, yeah, the lives are really Mika lore. Oh, no, I was also, I talk about that. Hold on. Let's look. Let's go Chicken, back and blast in the past. Pepperoni. Here go. I'm in med school. We're going to learn some stuff about me in the beginning time. of this one. I have a degree. I have a whole ass beautiful man by my side. I have a family that loves me. We all look, I like the dislike ratio. It's kind of goaded. My skin is clear. My makeup is flawless. I am living my best life. My hair is growing. I smell like, like coconut oil. He, gave me a <laughs> he said it looks nice. He said this is a nice color. I'm going to keep editing this I'm while we watch the beginning of my video like, because oh my God, we'll talk God, about how the most beautiful person in the entire I talk about my feelings towards Sarah and stuff. Well, then the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Is that like not good enough then? What is happening? I'll be like, all right, great. Thanks. Like, I'd, would you not? Would you not just take the compliment? Just not feeling it. I don't know if I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. It's such a waste of opportunity. And I really this was think- such a dog shit arc. This was Degil. Degalaste, Tabarnak, de Christ, Moodzy. I hit it with a couple of those. This era was just so bought, like, even less effort content than Amber Lynn's content. And the whole point of a reaction channel, allegedly, is to be better than her, you know? Because that comes with the lol cow kiwi farms there. Arc. It speaks to the fact that Hello, Sarah. We bar. have a um, are you gay poll on the thing if you want to. <laughs> are you part of the LGBTQIA2S like, plus? But I just want right, to know if you, you but that's there if you anyway, it's coming in. Hi, everyone. It's me again, and Swish Gang is present. Oh, that I look eats. We're talk about girl. I used to actually sorry watch that I look and was really fun. You can st- I still have a bit of my um I still have a bit of my customer service voice in this video, which is interesting. Because I feel like the Keemstar one that I filmed the same day doesn't. Undivided anyway, time. that is all. And a lot of the structures of my channel are actually inspired by. It's gonna be a bit of a different video because we're talking about Let's speed me the up world verse again, and I was requested to make this video quite a bit, and I felt somewhat apprehensive of until now. For a couple of reasons. For one, I don't like to incite dramas in different communities. And also, I am a personal believer. I came in being like, this is going to be messy. <laughs> yes, a Squishmallow is the Squishmallow is owned by a um, by a Zionist. So, um, so that's why I'm not screaming. But I and this is I'm going to keep y'all 100% real with this. You know how they're still there? I don't have anywhere else to put them. Like there's genuinely zero space. Because the thing is is that when I got my lovely little dog, so a lot of my furniture I uh, intentionally bought raised so that I could store stuff underneath as my storage space. And then I got Gus and he chews everything. So all of my stuff that was in my storage underneath things, like this bed, for example, this bed is raised as well. I lost all my storage space. So now I have nowhere to put anything. I can't move these. I don't, there's nowhere to put them. And I don't want to get rid of them all because a lot of them have sentimental value to me as well. Like subscribers send them to me, friends send them to me, I got them for gifts and stuff. Um, And the way that the room is oriented, I can't have one of those nets either because of the way that there's like built-ins and stuff like this shelf here. Um, so unfortunately, 
yes, I understand that there's a replacement, but then I would have to buy everything to replace them. <laughs> Which is just bad. Oh, hello. This is not an accusatory question. This is a genuine question. Are you going to vacuum? Okay. I just wanted to know because it's just because the sound it makes. That's all. Okay, that is all. I should have muted myself. Oops. Okay, let's keep playing this. Of punching up. Uh, normally, however, we are talking about. Oh my god, it was the first video you watched, Megan. That's iconic. Because I see you in here all the time. Audience, that's awesome. What I've seen, as well as somebody with similar view counts to mine. We're talking about, as you can see by the title, Young Dumb Honey Bun YDHB or Sarah. Her name is Sarah. First, links, sources, Amazon, Patreon, all that link down below. A sports channel, the whole nine. Uh, patrons' names on screen. This Thank is a random so other thing, by the way. This is not a plug. Please don't get mad at me. Um. In my Amazon wish list, the one that you can buy me stuff for, are also a bunch of books that I'm interested in looking at. If you are looking for more books that align with what I usually talk about, that I'm not already using in the videos. Just don't, if you don't want to buy them for me, obviously, you don't have to. But if you're looking, don't try to buy them from the list because it will send it to my house. Uh, but that's there as well. And there's also a one that's just for book recommendations, which I should probably, I think I don't know if I've added to in a while. I have Lots to look. Of content coming out. But the book recommendation one are only the ones I've read. And unfortunately, because I get a lot of um, like education, like university published books, they're really expensive. Like a normal novel is like $20, $30. As soon as they slap that Oxford thing on it, it's like $50 to $85, which is like for the foreseeable future. Because a I'm lot. Yeah, we've got. 79% LGBT. <laughs> keep this as brief as humanly possible, but it won't be because I've met me before. That's epic. Part one, we're just going to do okay. a quick who is Young Gum Honey Bun, uh, why she considered controversial. Then part two, we're going to react to one of her recent rebranded content videos. And okay, three, and then what's the like other thing I'm doing? Point and the shifts that a lot of people have Oh, yes. Um, so let's get right into it. Kiwi one, is Young Gum Honey Bun. Farms. Young Gum Honey Bun, who recently changed channel name to the That's my three sections. Name, YDHB. Um, started as what is known in the Girlverse as a compilation channel. When I say the Girlverse, for those of you who don't know, this is a group of channels that typically commentate on specifically Amberlynn Reed and a channel called Foodie Beauty. Uh, Something that's talked about the Slayton Sisters and a couple of other figures. That is the group that Sarah's in. There are the compilation channels, which refer to... There's some yeah, really, you can't uh, tag on mobile. It's really annoying. Facts. There's one Because there's a lot of times I'll be in the premieres and I'm watching on my phone because I just cast it to my TV so I can like talk to you all in the chat and it's really annoying like that I can't tag people because so many people say like really nice things and I want to shout them out in the chat because obviously I'm not streaming so I can't do it vocally and then I can't because of the stupid tag feature on mobile not working. Very annoying. Very inconsiderate. You can tell how much effort I put into into um, my PowerPoints for teaching by how much I'm moving around the stuff on the screen. Um, I made such nice powerpoints for my students and they were not grateful enough <laughs> just kidding okay chicken pepperoni peach would be another one i think i just want uh, to get to where i talk about how i feel about her from chantel or but... Lynch, chantel is what you name and kind of make them into more concise videos or what they'll do is they'll kind of categorize clips into like a certain aspect so let's say amberlyn reed contradicting herself for eight minutes or chantel talking about burger king for eight minutes straight like it's those kinds of videos and then a lot of people who come make commentary on them will utilize the videos from these compilation channels to insert clips because people especially like chantel when she was live streaming for hours and hours a day put out quite a bit of content some of sarah's controversies actually started in this time i miss live stream era subscribers as well as did not credit content from other creators some even saying as bold as uploading other people's videos. I'm not going to confirm or deny that. That was before my time interacting with the channel and I'm not sure, but I just want to put forward everything that I found. If there's some of these more niche allegations, I found some of these on Reddit. Uh, how credible is that? I I feel like eating a silly adult candy would be epic to do this, but I think I also have to teach later, so let's not do that. I actually do believe so things when I talk about stuff, so I'm just saying that that has something that, that I've seen. Really I can't bad. confirm or deny that. Eventually, Sarah switched to making commentary content on the girls. She stated due to the change. That would be really bad, actually. On YouTube and the <laughs> think about claim, it. what's considered transformative content. What's interesting with that is she has come for Amberlynn Reed in the past about copyright striking ap apathetic facts. Not I know it's me twice. Are. So then, if you were so worried about it, was it because you'd upload it? That would kind of feed into the concept of. I think this is when my camera was still doing the smooth filter thing and I couldn't turn it off. Because I used to. So I used to record. So the thing is that if I record. Or, okay, my old SD card that wasn't the plot, like the premium one, and before my camera was set to 4K, this is 1080, when I would record through OBS, my smoothing filter would turn on on my camera, and I would have to remember to turn it off each time. 
and I forgot sometimes. So that's why a couple of the videos look weird. I promise. Well, you've seen my like horrid acne on the show. Obviously, I'm not doing it on purpose. But because this is a vlogging camera, first and foremost, it actually has a smoothing feature on it. And it's on in this video. I can see it. Especially because I know that my acne was really bad at the time. But I promise if this has ever been something that made anyone insecure, I would never had this on on purpose. It's just because like when I got this camera, I had zero idea how to use it. So, she anyway, might potentially upload someone else's video because then they can just strike her. That's alleged. That's just my opinion. I just thought that was an interesting thing to incorporate into that. Upon switching to this content, Young Dumb Honey Bun blew up from reading Amberlyn Reed's old Wattpad poetry and writings, and that is actually how I found Sarah. Sarah was a psychology student in the UK and incorporated aspects of psychology in her videos. She continued to do so as she pursued a master's in London for psychology as well. Apparently, at one point, she had claimed about being in med school and has claimed that she's a practicing therapist. There's a lot of claims that seem to some say are unsubstantiated. Sarah has said that she's proven some of them. It's very unclear. I am not going to comment on the credibility of those claims necessarily because, one, I'm not Sarah. Two, I don't care that much. Three, it's not necessarily relevant. What lip am I wearing? It's and cute. I just feel like it's... I'm not personally educated on types of topics of psychology, for example. So I can't say, oh, a therapist would say this, psychologist would say this, this person might say whatever, right? There's a lot of questioning on substantiation. And Sarah was somebody who tended to boast about her education quite a bit, stating things like, I live my best life, I have a degree, in this famous rant referencing coconut oil or something that a lot of people bring up. I am an educated woman. I am an educated immigrant woman. Damn. Who has came here with no language, who is now speaking two I languages still don't... fluently, who okay. has a career, who has ambitions and goals in life. Oh, Regardless thank you, Sarah. Of the that I make on YouTube, of Regardless the audience, of the coinage. I have a oh successful God. life. Guys, stop chewing on the cow. <laughs> I too have a degree. It's right above my head. This way. It's right above my head. You can see it there. Um, it's in my blurry depth of field because I want to dox myself. And then I also have a college to. How do I do this? I see. I also you know, have a something that we've learned. Is that I've still never learned uh, the orientation of the camera. Like I still don't know how to how I would point to it. There we go. Like I still don't know how to do it. <laughs> this is like a year old. This is over a year old. <laughs> Anyways, well, in applied sciences as well on my wall um if y'all don't think those are real because my name's blurry sure go off like i don't care that much she, i said that, that because someone actually did uh accuse me of not having those that are real which was like the source super epic anyway videos are related to her teachings and then kind of mix them with her opinions however the credibility of her claims are now questioned a lot more i am also questioning them a little bit because of the nature of the way that she kind of the way that you'll see in the part two that she sources like random stuff from Google. Um, okay, so some here of the articles that she are my three parts for my slideshow because we're still I'm still working on this. It is Gus. He just fell. He falls asleep like instantaneously. Like it's impressive. Anyway, so here's our three sections. Who are the girls? Reaction channels and Kiwi Farms pipeline. You recreated that. Part. <laughs> Oh no, I have a friend who's obsessed with the pointing Wojak. Don't tell him. That was Jesus Christ. Had they, by the way, the yellow looking nice on me, it's because my eyebrows are really dark and my hair is dark. So I have like good contrast. Um, yellows, like very bright colors like that look good on people with high contrast features, which I have. Especially if my lip was like red. Were Georgina. Ones upon rewatching, they were just like open source academic ones, which does not so let's, alter the credibility, by the way, if it's open source or not. No, when you get to a point okay. where somebody, I want to put, so this is a quote slide. Somebody give me a quote to put in here. Think of your most iconic girl world quote. I'm thinking something along the lines of like mental health things is scary or like, um, you know, I asked for two, ch what is it? Um, I asked, I got two chips instead of an apple. So, some I do show Gus off on the camera. What are you talking about? Can you hand him to me, please? The fans are demanding a cameo. 
countries upon countries upon countries upon countries are experiencing an epidemic of people dying because they're so incredibly obese. I think that is when we have to, you know, really push a healthy lifestyle. And now, I Books is good for the know, brain, is really epic. I know that there's people who are more susceptible to it. I know that there's people who simply say, you know what, I'm fat and I love it and I don't care. I, that's absolutely, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Continuing on with that conversation, I have seen that a lot of activists. I think there's no more nash. You know, uh, members have basically said that they are reclaiming the word fat. Oh, I, I actually have a, really I have a really good idea. I have a really good idea. So I have all four of the girls, right? There. We'll do a quote for each one of them. So I'll duplicate this four t uh, three more times. And then when I introduce each one of them, I will add a quote. So that, we, that way we can get some pretty iconic stuff going here. Because someone passed me the baby. By someone, I mean my boyfriend needs to pass me the baby. But, um, an article in, I think this was Vogue, like Teen Vogue, um, about basically people saying that they do not see it as an insult anymore. And that's like a huge prevalent thing about, you know, that people just think it's a descriptive word. word. I personally, if I am sourcing, when I do read from things, are academic articles almost always, if not their Oxford published books, such as something like this. So this is um, a yes, book that is technically like, you know, for regular readers, it's sold on Amazon, but it's published through the Yale Press. So I tend to, I tend to try to incorporate primarily text like that if I'm citing something as definite. So as if I'm talking about structures of rhetoric, points of argumentation, studies, those kinds of things. You when I'm talking about like YouTubers and stuff that they're doing, obviously I'm not sourcing stuff from Yale, yeah. so it's not necessary. It's just like your time and place, right? How much credibility you want to build based on those claims kind of all falls to your sourcing a lot of the time. As far as like how I feel about the specific claims that she did make, all I'm going to say is I had a tendency, I had a tendency to conflate aspects of rhetoric, which is just solely argumentation and positioning, as like actual psychological aspects. So let's say somebody arguing uh, rhetorically in a way that is very self-serving, she would like, like, lean, like lean into like a narcissistic tendency. Ready, set. So oh my God. Okay, no, no, no. We are doing ready, set, bees, obviously. For Chantel, are you kidding? Ready, set, bees. Hello. And I'll have to, yeah, duh. It's not necessarily <laughs> true. Characters for camera's sake are going to be different than your overall personality in a lot of cases. And to make that certainty is not necessarily justifiable. I actually commented on one of Sarah's videos a long time ago where I said, like, well, I'm a big fan of yours. Like, DM me if you want to talk about rhetoric because I was trying to say, like, you're kind of misconstruing a couple of things. But then she I was a big fan of yours. Comments, I like, know. Here we are now, I guess. I know how far we've come, this girls. This is such a weird place because it's not very often that I make videos on people I used to like. I guess Jimmy Snow would be the last time I did that. I want to say, as far as like what I can think of right now. With that in mind, let's get into part two, where we react to a video that Sarah made on. Hold on. I just want to know the way that this did twice as good as my Keemstar video. As if that is a measurement of anything of worthwhile. I don't want to date Keemstar either. I feel like that's, you know, but he'll say something about chasing clout and how my value doesn't matter because of some sort of social economic. I'm just gasped. I'm just gassed. Like, wait, first slide. Hello, it's ready. Yo, there's somebody that the second that Amberlynn Reed uploads always, always has the hello, it's ready. Like 10 seconds uh, there. Like, they're on. Like, I swear to God, whoever this is has like an Apple watch or something and like they're working uh, they're nine to five and they get the they get the notif and they're like, hello, it's ready. Like they are immediately. Yes, I've ever seen. Ganged up on that whole day, whole dealio. I walked around my island in my kitchen or walked down the hallway and appreciate her telling me you know my kitchen island my six thousand dollar chair my whatever whatever i just feel like it's a little bit inappropriate and a little bit like a small you to her audience hold on hold on hold on <laughs> Sarah never blocked me though, which is kind of epic. I think it's bloody inappropriate to show everybody your earrings that are so expensive. I think it's a big F you to your audience. That's my accent. You're welcome for that, by the way. Like, I remember, like, her flexing on Instagram, like, all the time. Especially that, like, gaudy-ass ring. You know? Not to mention, like, tattoos cost money, girl. Like...
Hmm. Okay, I got distracted. Let's continue. Chikara transformations. She does commentary as a bodybuilder with a fitness focus. She looks so she different isn't back then. She's really a part of Hater Nation and often does her own thing. Mm -hmm. There are more, like Kicking Geese, Cherry Berry Weight Loss, One Vlog Away, DC Media Girl, Shaquana Jefferson, Gaining Ground, and Countless Almost none others. of these people it's are like community. there anymore. If you want to see commentary on messy fat girls on the internet, you have countless of options. So why are we talking about these people? They are the ones who point and laugh at the side. Okay, we can think. Ready, like set, well, the thing bees. Is, the drama and insanity that they have displayed bees in all caps. become more interesting than the attractions they talk about. This is a typical rise and fall story, this time with the community. I can't pinpoint exactly when the community started being big on YouTube. Previously to reaction channels, there were compilations and such of Amberlynn Reed videos, YouTube poops, and a small audience would YouTube come to poops. Watch. But as for reactions- Why are you not? Not letting me oh did i structure well, it like say that at least to me it started with a video from youtuber michael b petty the oh, video well. was entitled face of a hater and consisted of michael b petty telling why he turned from a fan of amberlynn reed cheering her on in her journey into a quote unquote hater it's a good video he does this weird thing where he takes the meme food that amberlynn reed eats and dresses up to try and summon her it's amazing and creative. that's funny orange chicken Please bring me your oh power. My <laughs> I didn't know I he did a seance. I need your power. Texas Roadhouse Salad Bar, you have filled me your whole entire existence. I need your power. This is really Oh wait, this is the sizes Less of this are not right. After the release of this video, the gossip forum Kiwi Farms created a thread. Why is the spacing so off? By oh, about Amberlynn Reed titled fan made videos plus hater nation. A lot of hater nation have an issue with the gossip form Kiwi farms. They are a useful source for some information. What but is happening? A website full of absolute free speech resulting in some unsavory things from some okay, of the users. I know. Not only are they useful in the documentation of the meltdowns we will discuss in this video, but they are also that's a better. key player in antagonizing the members of hater nation. Yeah, that's the better. biggest hater, Charlie Gold, would join the sphere June 30th, 2019, with a video titled Amberlynn Reed, cold, <sighs> manipulator or delusional. The video skyrocketed in views. God, this is annoying me. Ones. This video was your typical there we go. Holy video, moly. not too harsh. Just talking about why she dislikes Amber. Yeah, Charlie I figured out why the what on. the issue was. This video, I could marry Orange Chicken, that's pretty epic. YouTuber. After this, Charlie would begin reacting to Amberlynn Reed. And in her reactions, she would continue to so, relate Amberlynn's- So, I don't know what happened with DC Media Girl. Um, because I didn't really watch her in the first place. How do I close this? Oh, here we go. Um. Struggles to her own. Charlie would be a success in contrast to Amberlynn Reed's weight loss failures. But okay, time, ready, said bees. This is Chantel. Kind of mean. That wasn't a problem at first, though. And we'll do is mean. Michael Chantel is Marie. Charlie. But they Girl, Chantel, you this man's weight, you show after his size, and I'm not gonna even get into the fact that like foodie no on this beauty that can, in, in, that can penetrate those beef curtains. Like I'm not gonna even begin to fathom how giant that must be. I mean, be poor, BB must be living it up over there, not being able to get through. What really helped Charlie's growth was again her being a success in her weight loss in comparison to Amberlynn Reed. On August 17th, 2019, she would get the attention of Your dog had a neurological episode. The video titled what are The Darker you? Side of Obesity, where she breaks down over her struggles with her health due to her unhealthy yeah, so habits. In this video, she oh, also oh my god. That she doesn't Oh my god, foodie poopy. And I'm not going to say like that. And Maybe. make it seem like, oh, I'm better uh, than her. Sean, no, I'm just making Chantel, better, period. Better decisions for my life. You know, that's all it is. Do I want this girl to pass away? Of course not. Do I want her to go down? Base take, but I miss when Chantel, not Chantel. I miss when Charlie Gold had like any aspect of like humanity in the videos instead of just being like, mean all the down. time of course not i would never wish what else Woody poopy chantel she would continue to react um to Reed. what's it called beezer incorporated chantel and salah yeah, um we forgot big Google. beautiful me, because I did test me. It. what else am i missing 
that yes. water was lower. The Beezer show is what is causing me to have heartburn. At first, I was like, pH balance. Can't be that simple. So I thought something Foodie, cutie. <laughs> Which again, she says, Christ. Some other yes, Chantel. Nothing yes, Charlie's Chantel. Al. The difference is that she started Refe. her channel to be a weight loss journey oh, and often compared herself to the women she critiqued. Flobby this Bobby. Is why I say be better than Amberlynn and I. Chantopolis, yes. I'm not taking myself out of the Holy equation shit. because I did eat myself to poor Chantopolis. Pounds. I did eat myself to being housebound. I did that. Yet, as early as August 2019, it seemed like she had just begun to attack other women's sizes who had similar struggles to her own. She's just a 600 pound sodium filled troll. This would get worse over time, especially with the introduction of Foodie Beauty. Not only that, she had a larger platform than any other person in this subgenre of YouTube before, due to networking with inspirational fitness channels. So, she had the backing of these large channels while saying things like, Thank you to Lexington and then drive your fat two hours back home. On August 29th, 2019, she went on the large fitness channel, Every Day Fitness, to talk with the owner of the channel about herself and her journey. Oh, uh, that guy's crazy. What's his name? Factor in Bald man. To over 100,000 subscribers. I don't remember his and name. She also got featured on an even larger fitness okay. channel, Obese to Beast. Obese to Beezer. Charlie became the people call that before. Amber Lynn, and everyone Here really seemed to like her. Amber Lynn Reed never responded to Charlie's pokings at her. Amber Lynn allegedly makes about 10000 a month from people hate watching her low quality vlogs. She has better. How do people. Supposedly had da 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 received check for this balance in July. How do they know that? Are they like hacking her YouTube? Because that's like really, really, really specific numbers. Like, where do you find that? Because, like, Social Blade's not right, so I don't know where they're finding that. Usually makes about 10000 a month for people hate watching her low quality vlogs. She has better things to do than pay attention to the growing community rising against her, like eating dry pasta. I am a very dry girl. <laughs> that sounds wrong. While Amberlynn Reed didn't poke at the Hater Nation bear at this time, none other than Foodie Beauty herself did. And on September 8th, 2019, Foodie Beauty posted a community post about Charlie Gold's channel in defense of Amberlynn Reed. Foodie Beauty, aka Chantel, wrote in this post, This channel okay. is ridiculous. This content creator basically reacts to every single thing Amberlynn Reed does in every video. She is an obese woman, highly opinionated of another obese woman's struggles. She reacted to my video. I don't think well, I'm gonna do glitter and lasers. Glitter I think I'm gonna do Life by Jen because I think that was somebody that people TMI, knew of more. I think you are confused. I don't care about what people think about my dingleberries. What I have a problem with is you profiting off of Amberlynn Reed, like thousands of others, when you are obese too. I need to take a seat. I would rather talk about TMI than be a hypocrite and base my channel off of someone else. In today's video, she thanked her followers for 60k subscribers. You should be thanking Amberlynn for those subs and views. But we're not going to have a quote ago, from Life by Jen. You a couple thousand views, and the minute you started talking about Amberlynn, your views went up. Your channel is one of a kind. Mm, so but then original. I feel bad because of the Among Us stuff. On the journey like that's really silly. That girl, when you were still obese yourself. Just because mm. you lost a bit of weight. No, we'll do the Slayton sisters instead. Of course, I will get so much hate for this post, but I really could care less. I already get so much. What is a bit more? This is my opinion. That same day, Charlie Gold responded to Foodie Beauty in video form. I think Foodie Beauty fighting back against those in Hater Nation was the first straw in Charlie Gold getting meaner. Don't get me wrong, Foodie Beauty is gross, and I don't like her as a human, and I don't mind Charlie Gold insulting her. And I say this because the reaction the channels cover them. First to yeah, the Slayton the sisters. Pit. What I won't do is continue to do the same thing. I may have slip ups, but what I won't do is be trapped. This is a trap that this big toddler set out, and uh, that's not something I'm gonna engage in. I personally take too much time to do my makeup, to do my hair, to get dressed, to just simply roll around in mud with a pig. And speaks on how she is above her. I have nothing for you. This will be the only time I address you. I have said this before. Because I want you to see what In it reference like to, to Gabby Hanna and Jesse Smiles. But so honest, many people get so deep on their high horse for being able to, like, body some stupid person on the internet. But, like, when your opponent is Chantel, it's like playing checkers with a chicken. You know? It's like, it's a pretty easy W.
because not very smart, you know? So, I don't know, it's a bit silly, isn't it? Yes, Amy made fun of ALR. Yes, I remember that. That was kind of goaded. Um, or do we do Nikocado? New poll. I'm doing so many polls. and to be respectful of a community that is supportive of me. It was a decent response to the community post against her. Not only did Charlie Gold respond to this post, but Michael B. Petty did as well. You're already mad at her because she is fat too. And I actually... she has an opinion on you. So, Chantel, let me know, what is the BMI range to be able to talk about the dumb shit you do on camera? I can guess other channels of smaller subscribers also responded to, all telling Foodie Beauty she's wrong and bad in her defense of Amberlynn Reed. It seems to me to be a bit of a dog pile, but an approved dog pile, because everyone, including myself, found Foodie Beauty to be deplorable. Nowadays, there is criticism of this reaction to Chantel defending herself and fellow fat girls. There's nothing in here to me that sounds so bad that it warrants Charlie Gold making so many videos about her. She basically stood up for Amber Lynn. Yeah, well, some of the stuff was kind of racist, herself, though. And kind of called Charlie out for her content. Oh, and I spelled it wrong? And well, went with it. And it's just a bit interesting because that. in the past she has said that she would only address Chantel oh, once shit. and leave it at that. After this, she would continue to mostly react to Amberlynn Reed in her videos. Her views doing great due to the boost. Not only was this popular on the internet, but reactions from Zachary Michael and Michael B. Petty also were doing well, oftentimes reaching more views than the original content they were reacting to. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather watch Zachary Michael gagging at the sight of Foodie Booty talking about nasty stuff than I'd want to watch that without the reaction. What is going on? The next person to come trans to trans misogyny is a fellow hater this time. This hater went by the against name Red Shaquana Pagan Jefferson. Corner. Oh she my uploaded God. a now deleted video. Okay, no. So here's the thing. I just, I just got a comment. I'm reading it. So many people are telling me I should have talked about X Y Z thing with the Mama Max stuff. It's like I think a lot of people think that I'm like extremely deep in the lore hole. I'm not. I don't know who anybody is. Okay, so a lot of people are saying Nick Okado. Okay, then I'll do Nick instead. Then I need a Nick Okado quote, please. For my, um... For my ting. For my things. Despectable. There we go about her unpopular opinions and there she talked about how she didn't like charlie gold i am writing this from what i can gather from other videos on the topic but essentially shaquana equated charlie's success to her being a token black woman in the community and even referred to charlie gold as being dark as shit, which was quite a smooth brain move this is why you watch back what you say as that comment in itself upset many people Shaquana would later say that what she meant was that Charlie Gold's skin did not match the foundation she was wearing, but the damage was done. A lot of haters reacted to it. Shaquana became the second casualty of hater nation. Oh yeah, it's just water weight. YouTube reactor is definitely, Yaba, yeah, AKA true. the YouTube Underground, did a video in response to this in defense of Charlie. My problem is, is that the fact that you, that you actually believe that we can't have a black woman on YouTube without them being a token black woman that is the most disrespectful thing that i think i have heard yet and then due to the racist implications of her statement friend of charlie gold life of a free spirit proceeded to have well a meltdown of her own on twitter where she called shaquana jeffrey dahmer and then started lashing out at oh, shaquana who her, hey Maybe comparing an unemployed chain smoking lesbian to a well known serial killer is too far. She even went on a now deleted what? stream and said one of my favorite Life of the Free Spirit, aka Callie, quotes Jeffrey Dahmer was a serial killer, but he wasn't a fing racist bitch. Eventually, Charlie Girl. Gold responded to Shaquana a lot more eloquently than her what? friend Callie in a video titled 
What I chose to learn from Shaquana Jessica. This stuff's so it wild. It was a good video, if I'm going to be honest. In the video, she addresses the statements that were no doubt hurtful to her at the time, but also empathized with Shaquana. And even though Shaquana Jefferson is, for the most part, in my opinion, seemingly like a negative person, she does have a qu quite a bit of support. So when I took the time to not be as biased and take the video personal, I rewatched the video. I put everything aside to see or try to understand what was the intent of the video what what was the reason behind this and it really came okay thank god the, the dog is okay Shaquana was just hurt her feelings were hurt she was bitter because i came into this Eggs. community i came into this community a couple of months ago okay and for whatever reason so it's just water reason. weight and sometimes i don't understand it for whatever reason a lot of people were supportive of me. A lot of people oh, wanted to hear more about me. Wanted to hear Something's more. happened again. And said oh, wait, I might just not be big enough. Oh, yeah, okay. Video. Yay. I realized how ridiculous I've been for the past few weeks. And how Why is it scaling? Oh, it's because of the way they... Okay. Myself. So for that, at the very least, I appreciate when it comes to that video. There's nothing about that comment I appreciate. But even better, Charlie Gold made the statement that she couldn't for sure say that Shaquana was a racist. Is it racist to call me the token black woman and call my skin dark as I don't know. I can't for sure call this woman a racist, but did it have a lot of racial undertones? Absolutely. Charlie could not be stopped. Girl was on fire. Charlie did finally begin reacting to Foodie Beauty videos with a video titled Foodie Beauty Plus Size Slash Tent Size Haul Reaction. An obviously mean title, mocking the other woman's large size. Why is my Nika Cotto wrong? That Charlie herself is around 300 pounds at this point. Her earlier videos were mostly focusing on Amberlynn Reed's health in her reactions. But now she was- If I ever go to Calgary, oh my god. Sides alone of the women I mean, maybe, watching. but like- I know for sure my underwear is big, but- that I'm like silly like in French. Like, Alberta doesn't like us. And Jake rented for their wedding. That's huge. Okay. That is not uh, Am I spelling Nikocado right? Like, or am I stupid? Like, for it. Foodie Beauty has a history of flagging people, reporting people to CPS, Oops. and being rude to others herself. There's nothing wrong with bullying a bully in many people's eyes. Then came in another oh, yeah, I am person who's wrong. very vocal Lamau. disliked okay, Charlie well. Gold. Nini Love Oops. Reacts, who made yeah. a video titled Charlie Gold well, that's gonna be Foodie annoying. Beauty LOL Reaction on October 20th, 2019. Did I close my slides? This is the first negativity oh, I can find Oh my god. Charlie. Nini has a history of making videos on Amberlynn Reed herself, but for some reason decided to go oh, after Charlie a mess. Gold. Perhaps it's because in this community, the targets are all fat women, and Charlie Gold is a fat woman herself. It also might be because as a fat person, Charlie Gold being so cruel specifically about <sighs> appearances might have pissed off many people. That being said, Nini came into the anti-hater nation scene. Charlie, don't shake your head because you, you, you ain't like this. Like, you still a big girl. Nini also attacked Michael B. Petty in this video too, claiming okay. that the haters go we'll back. way too far in their commentary and then freak out when they get back. Charlie goes, the Michaels, the all the other people, when they sit up here and they go at these people, and it's funny how they'll go Why at these Why is Google people, know? Oh my God, that's hilarious. To, okay. You know, go hmm. in their Facebook, go in their Instagram, they'll try to do all the research on like Chantel, Amberlynn, yeah, yeah. and all this and all that, try to get in into their personal life, and then when they come, what do you back, mean? When Chantel come back and f cuss they ass out, then they want to act like, oh Chantel is a bad person, oh Chantel is dead, and then they want to play victim. And don't think I'm supporting Nini here. She's freaking it nuts. Everyone in this community is nuts. Charlie would continue to poke at Foodie Hell Beauty yeah. in Berlin, and eventually okay. on December 7th, 2019, she now would I'm challenge Amberlynn Reed to a weight loss challenge. Here's a clip from YouTuber Rose Analysis talking about it. I'll link her video below. So on December 7th, 2019, Charlie went on live to openly invite Amberlynn to take part in a weight loss challenge. So the rules were pretty simple. The competition would run from January 2nd, 2020 until May 2nd, 2020. We unfortunately need to make him- the goal would just be to lose the highest percent of body fat. So Charlie and Amber would have to post weigh-ins to their there YouTube we go. every month. And then the last win would have to be- I feel so seen by this crash course for the lore, yeah. For Amberlynn's visit as well. Yeah, I will be now, constructing this and giving this to my friends and family members. Of Charlie Gold's choice. Now, if Charlie loses, she would have okay. to donate a thousand to the charity of Amberlynn's choice. 
and she would stop making Amberlynn videos forever. The videos I've seen from her so far are great, so. The problem here is that I believe at this point, Amberlynn Reed had been losing weight. Meanwhile, Charlie Gold hadn't really been keeping up with her weigh-ins. It had been about two full months at this point since Charlie Gold's last health okay. update. Amberlynn Reed, of course, didn't accept the challenge. Charlie did promise to do the challenge by herself, even if Amberlynn Reed didn't respond. If she doesn't want to do it, do it anyways. Yeah. The thing is, I was planning to bring weigh-ins back in January. Anyways, yeah, Canada's so not great with Amberlynn indigenous people. No, I'm bringing my weigh-ins back. With this, the year ends. Here's okay, the problem. Okay. Charlie Gold starts out So we've got our three sections, okay? Who are the girls? The year off Reaction well, channels. Charlie had some kind of Facebook weight loss um, where she assigned people to And then the Kiwi farm saying this is it only gets worse. Be inspired. Also, she is supposed to be doing a weight loss challenge against herself since Amberlynn Reed didn't accept. It's a good start. The problem is Charlie What's doesn't do what she says anywhere. She eventually abandons the Facebook weight loss group that she started. And not only that, oh, during the time she's supposed to be challenging herself and bringing back weigh-ins, she doesn't. She uploaded a video titled, My Recent Self-Sabotage, on March 29th, 2020. In the video, she talks about there issues we go. in her life, causing her to fail on her weight loss around the holidays, which in her words, instead of eating for comfort, I was so desperate to not turn to food. I was under the impression alcohol would be a better choice. She essentially alludes oh, that yikes. she had developed and cured a dependency on alcohol in a very short time. I was on a slippery slope and self-sabotage was very much turning into self-destruction. Charlie's makeup always eats though. We gotta be, we gotta be charitable. Well, not even charitable, we gotta be honest. Maybe these claims from her were true, but the you problem know? is she had not been holding herself accountable to her audience, much like the women she critiqued. Along with this failure, more people began to be critical of her, and somebody appeared on the scene to make a video reacting to Charlie Gold reacting to Amber Lynn by the name of The Sovereign. The Sovereign's main issue in these reactions were okay. that she saw Charlie Gold as being too nitpicky. Oh, I need that. Ooh. She's, looking, she's just nitpicky. She's just Ready, looking said for bees. stuff to be mad at. Clearly, you need to fix your face. <laughs> Okay. Um, Having a permanent scowl will give you wrinkles. Okay, well so now we need. I don't. I don't. Find I asked funny. already, but I forgot. A we need a quote from a uh, hungry fat chick. Like, ah, ha, 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 you shader. Like it's funny, but this is this is straight bullying, and it doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't sit right with my soul. So please give I'm me gonna, quotes like, now, from. I'm, forget my clothes. I'm gonna go find another cherry. video. Cherry um, candy. Candy. This her channel seems like it's a justification for people to be assholes, and I don't cuss a lot on my channel, but yeah. Holes. You guys deserve I love the cussing. What? Holes unbleeped out. Uh, wow. Two days after this, the Sovereign would produce a second video on Charlie Gold, titled Charlie Gold, Becoming Infected by the Toxicity You Hate, where she talks about Charlie Gold becoming toxic over time. Who are the With main the face of a disapproving players. stepmother and critique um, Amberlynn Reed's All right. And then I remember there's one of these that has a bunch of like, here we go. Okay, so then we're gonna Charlie Gold move. is borderline like this is obsessive. I don't care what Charlie Gold has to say about Amberlynn Reed. I'm also if gonna duplicate this because I want this for the uh, reaction Reed's channels videos, too. No matter what she uploads, I already like know Elle's not gonna put in this much. I think just because this is ridiculous. But you know what we're gonna do actually for candy. We're just gonna do. Literally just inaudible moaning. That's that's all we're gonna. That's, that's what we're doing. Like literally, Amberlynn Reed could upload a video reviewing a white T-shirt, and Charlie Gold would. Is make it a crazy that I was somebody's high school teacher? Amberlynn Reed reviewing a white T-shirt. Like she. You, I feel like Charlie if I saw Gold my teachers doing this, I would like personification of the cereal challenge. Be in a coma. I think it would be funny though, to be honest. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, it's on all of my screens. Not only did the critique of Charlie grow, but Charlie Gold also got doxxed around this time. Like I said, Kiwi Farms is a major player in this. 
and in the Hater Nation fan made thread, a user posted. Unintelligible, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. From Charlie Gold being involved in legal issues. This was probably the first catalyst of the fission between haters and anti haters. Charlie at first responded maturely to the doxing and admitted and owned up to what had happened. She wrote on Twitter, Just to clarify, the arrest is legit. It's not a rumor. I had a traffic violation and missed the court date because it was sent between me moving places. I turned myself in and I'm good to go. That wasn't her only legal issue though. She also added information about her owing a lot in back rent and how she was not doing well financially before YouTube. One problem detractors had though was the weight on the mugshot was listed at 310 pounds. But oh my God, y'all! Knew she had weight issues, so that was not a problem for a lot of people. And a lot of people came to her defense. I really didn't think much of it early on, and thought her owning up to it was pretty okay. And she even started selling merch with her mugshot on it, which was funny enough to me. Great. End of story, right? Wrong. After there the no. doxing, Charlie Gold probably uploaded one of the most critical videos on Chantel, where in the title she calls Chantel Pig, Pig Mad. Mad. Yeah. Big Mad. That's been. She still does that. It. Chantel is fat, just like Charlie is. Unfortunately for the forums out there, this is the only time I fell on my face this year. There she begins getting real mean. She doesn't even realize what she's saying because she's that dumb. The cheese curds have traveled from her vagina into her brain, and she can't think. Okay, but the thing She's is, is like, just a Michelin man it's real. I think the problem is, is that it's like She's only bit bitter, dogs bitter bark or whatever the saying is. Because she's stubborn. Like. She's a I think the issue baby. is that she's also she's acting like she's that much better, Canadian which is the issue. Our amazing Canadian bacon, thick cut Canadian bacon Chantel has released. But then she also refers to Shaquana, who she addressed very eloquently Here we go. as a donkey. And their donkey, Shaquanda Jeffersons. Charlie loves to there compare other women to and animals. Then. Just pointing that out now. People who already disliked Charlie for whatever reason began posting videos of her mugshots and calling her out for what they thought as having similar flaws to the women she made a career on critiquing. I even saw a decent commentary video on reaction channels by a small YouTuber going over why she no longer liked Charlie And if Gold. And my sub Thanks was a react, I would have turned inside out. Charlie can sit on her channel and talk all the sh she wants, morning, noon, and night, yeah. and people praise her, but... If somebody wants to have a different opinion or stand up with them, I don't know, but I also think I'm not like the same, you know, yourself. like I'm kind of like not super horrible and mean. A hit dog gone haul. Yeah, that, that thing. And these reaction channels can do no wrong, but I find that kind of disgusting. I, I, I honestly do. And I don't know why. Um, and I don't okay. have anything against reaction channels. I just don't understand why they... So this they is going to really, go here. Uh, they really think they're the... A few days after the Pig Mad video, Charlie Gold received her own Kiwi Farms thread. The opening of the thread goes over the basic Charlie Gold info but continues in a separate section with information All that reads. the girls. At first, Charlie Gold's YouTube channel didn't get much attention, not even when she made a video ranting about the one time Amber Lynn Reed wrote on Tumblr nearly 10 years ago. This video is seemingly lost to time. If you have an archive, speak up. Charlie's initial huh. boost in viewership came in when popular fitness YouTubers started giving Charlie shine. They seemed to appreciate seeing an obese person on the platform who shunned the fat acceptance movement and was dedicated to improving herself. Despite this exposure, what really caused Charlie's channel to explode in popularity was, of course, Amberlynn Reed. In the spring of 2019, Amberlynn was in the midst of a self-imposed challenge the years. with the goal of uploading a YouTube video each day, a hundred days in a row. Since the video went up at the same oh time my god day. the hundred days of uploading their reactions to amber lynn's video and get some of that super chat coin there was one day when amber no oh, isabel have a good time at work though when you do go oh nobody should be doxxed 
like ever. Even with the Mount Max really stuff, he doxes the supposed predators. Time, it's like thousands of whale watchers had found their I think people forget street. that sometimes well, people live with like other people and like swatting can be dangerous for like a lot of different people at the same time. Like most reaction channels. I just always get worried about like the slopes for that. Because there are only so many different ways you could say, LOL, fat, before it gets repetitive. It's something to be expected in this niche genre of videos, and fans typically aren't bothered. However, Charlie's fans, and certainly her detractors, began to notice that despite her boasting and bloviating, she was and failing then to lose we need The OP also pointed out Amber Nick. weight loss success in the ending of the year of 2019. <sighs> this is just me putting off scripting my mom Max video more because I don't want to. On her new threat. Um, and then, then we're going to need, yeah, Charlie Amy's Charlie. life journey Even and life I by think Jen. Of her as the catalyst of the drama. Around this time, screenshots of smaller YouTuber, Biggest Mikey, Antagonizing foodie beauty and DMs began to circulate. Yeah, but the thing with the with DMs, um, insult each other back and forth. Kiwi so Farms is like for stuff like the girls, the like fight, that's where it everything is. Mocking foodie beauty for having genuinely major surgery, like resulting in her losing her ability to have children. It was also around this time, at least according to Kiwi Farms, that Charlie began deleting negative comments. Charlie kept it pushing though, still dedicating her social media to insulting the designated fat girl villains of YouTube. Meanwhile, on the anti-hater side, between the end of February and the beginning of March, Nini would continue to make videos on Charlie Gold. These videos are very, um, mean. And then who's left? <laughs> Amy's <laughs> life. I remember there was somebody who was like Charlie super Gold racist, cool like. And Nini Love reacts, dials that cruelty up to eleven, and directs it at Charlie. March fourth comes around, and Charlie. Why is that all the pixely? That Chantel was racist because Girl, Chantel herself. can we have something without some the anti-Charlie channels that were not PC? I believe one of them was called Fatty Gold and had a picture of a girl. Yes, now, this the Fatty Gold is what I'm thinking of. with the Fatty Gold channel, it has been consistently stated how offensive the channel has been it has been consistently stated how racist homophobic derogatory and i find it so hilarious how you allowed a troll account not even a legitimate creator to send you off to oh yeah i'm not yeah kiwi farms is a is a, is a place lower than anyone to uh, just so you could feel that i love my desk back, back scratcher i could never the Fatty Gold channel and other channels would say that the Fatty Gold channel had the gorilla theme before making posts about Charlie Gold. And they used to make videos on Amberlynn Reed. They also claimed to just be a fan of Harambe. Pretty much is just Chantel once again explaining that how could she have done something that was problematic when she had no idea that thing was problematic. God, I miss Aphrodite's peach, man. completely disregarding the fact that she went on to continue that behavior after being educated on how that is problematic. Also, Fatty Gold showed up in the chat and left this message which says, I had the girl icon before I made videos and another name. I changed it to I can see sociologists doing their PhD thesis. Yeah, no, for real. And besides, so we need to put all the names in. Even if I didn't have that pick. I got that uh, screenshot from Insert Twitter, text box. the fact that I just don't believe that. In all honesty, they were a really small shit posting channel, and they really caused a lot of chaos. Like a okay, I need to effect. move these all up Charlie wrote a lot. On the 4th of March on Twitter. I won't post certain things publicly, but just to be Can very someone clear, explain to me what a Streisand effect is? Because no one's ever said to me in a way that makes any sense. I've kind of gathered that it's like you expose yourself not a question, by accident, a kind of. The sovereign appeared once more on the in perhaps trying to expose someone else. The hater Michael B. Petty. In the video, she asked herself if she thinks Michael is as much How of do a boy as Charlie is in her opinion. She states that she also thinks the commentary from Michael B. Petty is ridiculously nitpicky. This is just very. Everyone's fighting each other. All the girls are fighting. Behavior. It's definitely not something to lose your mind over. He's just nitpicking. Amberlynn Reed, so um, yeah, okay. And bizarre how people find this content um, entertaining. All right. He's calling out Amberlynn Reed on people that every on things that everyday people do, which is just like holy moly. Booty beauty. This reaction is it's not entertaining. So but let's do. Let's saying, also we're like gonna saying, do. Well, why is the sky active blue? Why can the sky be green or purple or to show kind of who's doing what can't the earth turn in the right direction and not the left direction what this is just dumb why like he's just critiquing dumb things he's just nitpicking things for no reason and it seems like i see okay the more you try to, to hide something the more it gets exposed okay that makes sense squeeze out as 
much of a reaction as he possibly can where there is none. She does conclude that she does not think he is a bully, but instead thinks of him as a troll. I will say that Michael B. Petty is a professional troll. He is trolling Amber Lynn Reed professionally. Nini also continued her Charlie Gold videos, posting a video on this day as well, though the Sovereign was able to make her points better than Nini was. You fat blubber, you won't be able to pay your f***ing bills because nobody <laughs> will watch you. Girl. And she did not go for low blows. Because of the growing critique of Charlie Gold from around the internet, a posting anti-hater nation channel began making compilations of all the YouTubers critiquing Charlie Gold in a video titled Black YouTubers versus Charlie <laughs> Gold. Because Thank you, Cole Bunny, for the super chat. Like these fat people I'm happy that I can be... Like oh, we like the slides? Like Excellent. Thank you. I feel like I'm having... I'm, I'm doing good See, with this. Doing well with this whole ordeal. Video of other kids oh Jesus! Kids okay, hold on. Throwing rocks at them and calling them names. If that is unacceptable, then y'all reaction channels should be unacceptable as well. We shouldn't allow that as well. That's the, that's the equivalent of what y'all are doing. That's bullying. On the same day as the she <laughs> can't call them racist video, aka March seventh. I'm showing my boyfriend this because I'm explaining girl world drama sims. Oh my God! Cherry Berry both tweeted out. Y'all subscribe to Chantel. I, I am you're still I've yet doing to be wrong in any interaction. I am still herself. trying to Mikey writes, make these as good as possible. Senegal. Yeah, slave masters used to because my friends often, genuinely so yeah. don't get it. Also, you can certainly and have they of black people. It still I feel like they look down on me, so I need to like redeem myself. Found that out the hard way. Around this time, Charlie Gold also posted a community post. I don't know, I'm just happy I found Among Us slides. I went to like a so to slide a format thing and I looked up silly. Charlie writes, hello guys, let's add some context to Foodie Beauty's most recent community post. That has now been Oh, I love my Owala. Okay. She was attempting to gaslight her audience. Some of you may remember Foodie Beauty's upload on February 22nd of 2020, where she said, All I right. think it's a low blow to call someone a fatty. I don't agree with that. The I low blow to call someone channel. a fatty. Due to the fact I don't know, that, that was just interesting. Fatty Gold made a video spreading my dog. Nico Cotto. He's Kato. a charged image to represent me and has Kato. also spread Who's also videos active. as well. I don't visit that channel. I woke up to DMs this morning to let me know about a new intro and watermark they have, and also Foodie Beauty herself commented on the video but it was hidden under a supporter of mine the girls that get it get it no yes see, i'm assuming and has actually been very um, supportive of this channel since the february 22nd video she uploaded explaining she didn't know the reference of a gorilla and people of color so she is now educated on this since then okay she is choosing to remaining supportive um, of the channel, just something similar to me but with a doxing racist and homophobic life was Who's life by J call a hypocrite i now call her a racist and a hypocrite foodie beauty slash chantelle marie yeah, okay. is a racist in my eyes now the image of the gorilla is at the start oh. of the video and the watermark of the Mon pun fun how good luck with you washing that tanner out i've never tanned in my life because it i really know how it works but i got video i can't with a salat oh now. my god so why would chantelle still support this channel does she not think this is disrespectful <sighs> to her poc supporters or lgbt i have to oh my god i'm gonna have to add that in there too holy moly um oh jesus i'm actually gonna add this also to my girl world playlist okay the grammy's fashion cam broke i wish i understand girl it's like annoyed about some <laughs> it's like annoy people about something new no there's so not it's plus? just i she have to like my friend doesn't know what's going on channel. all she so knows is of gay men have i told her that supporters. the text coming out was better than christmas matter. Her hate for me is more important Passed than away, away from such a channel. Passed away in 2023. Below are a few screenshots out um, of many that Booty Beauty which is commented really sad, on the actually. Fatty Gold channel. With timestamps dating after the 22nd uh, and as recent as today. Mm -hmm. She's displaying the same attitude and behavior she has an issue with. Could it be? Chantel is a hypocrite, liar, and a racist in my opinion with her recent actions? Finally, the alleged racism of Foodie Beauty was addressed on March 8th by Charlie Gold with a video titled, Chantel, Learn From This. In the video, she calls That's Chantel better. a racist for supporting the Fatty Gold channel. Uh, Maria what loves to read. Is... I am making... So we used to... Um, I used to do this... Actually, I'll show y'all because it's so far back that I feel like none of you have actually ever seen it before. Um, 
I only did like four episodes too. So keep going. Uh, it's this one. It's me again. Customer service voice. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> I don't know. Who's gonna... I remember my friend couldn't and film yeah, for the first I like one. What you said too, where you're talking about like the misogyny, mm -hmm. but then, like I said, this like published almost three years ago. She this? has all these misogynists that defend her. She, it's so funny. Yeah. Like, or at least like I don't like to like de talk so. in absolutes with people, especially. Like, this is my, I love the smoke alarm sound. Oh my God. So that was with my friend. I have a playlist of the old episodes. Uh, I don't know. Hi everyone. It's me. This is when I was actually able to like put her footage in. Her rumor, it was because Gabby Hanna went on Instagram and said, guys, am I a good person? Tell me I'm a good person because I'm preventing someone from getting an incurable STD. Wow, this is out of context. Which, like, and also, so what if Jason did have that? So what? Like, again, she's really making it seem like it just, like, the, the rhetoric around that, it just seemed, well, no. Like, also, my friend Elle like, studied the same thing as me. So, at a different school, though, so that's kind of epic and slay. So that's why With the community uh, post, we ended up talking, so. We a bit confused. We're going to bring it back, but with a much higher production value. Specifically for racist. I was actually referring to her actions. Fatty Gold is a known racist uh, channel at this point. They're racist, they're homophobic, and just all these problematic things. Amy's the life journey. In the stand, uh, inactive is since, I think, 2021. To support this channel. She also admitted to reporting the Fatty Gold channel, which was taken down for the doxing of her and for implying gay YouTuber Zachary Michael might have AIDS. But it actually turns out that YouTube took the channel down. La 2020, so, okay. The only video Found that it. I've personally, well, two videos that I've personally reported was the one about my dox and the one referring to Zach. But the gist of this live stream is that okay. Chantal is 100% racist. This will stay with you for a long time time Chantel a long Chantel's time. racist like we know and that now saying, like if it I'm was ever if it was ever something to be doubted it is not anymore after the um Cuba rage which I don't even know if you can watch the Cuba rage on YouTube that's how bad it was like if I played a clip of it I think I would instantly get demonetized but even potentially my stream would get blocked like that's how bad it is um I think Chantel deleted it off her channel I swear to god because she was worried about getting banned again like it was that bad all right, so now we've got our girls categorized. Amberland, Foodie. Uh, Foodie Beauty, Hungry Fat, hungry fat Chick. Um, I feel like I want to... That's better. And then center that again. Hungry Fat Chick, Nikocado Avocado, Life by Jen, and Amy's Life Journey. All right. Thank God it's my. Thank God Chantel doesn't have kids, bro. She always looks to the side. That would be I wild. I want to make something very clear. If you think you getting down by an African for a few months or a few years, and let me phrase that, means you're not, uh, you're not racist. Soon. You're dumb as. F that means nothing. Let's be clear. If you thinking you getting down by an African means you're okay. not racist, you're just stupid. And you need so to then, stop speaking. Chantel now we need to, to do more slides on each one of them. She's not racist and that she was pushed to her limit by a community. I just want to see what she also formats said she we got with us here. Racist. Charlie Gold screenshotted the racist allegations response and wrote this on Twitter. One, Why is this I never so... called her white anything. Oops. I've called a Canadian insert whatever I call her at that time. Two, never shamed her for not being able to have kids. Three, that worthless apology should be to your audience in a video. Or is the only thing worth the recording and 
continued in part two, and posting are your binges. Four, All right, still now, avoiding how you can explain supporting. We need to make the reaction video, channel version of that slide. And life of a free spirit would also respond to. So I'm actually gonna delete that and one, and I'm gonna duplicate on this Twitter. one because I have the text boxes wrong, already. That everyone was a little. This is also just like gen I guess general tips on how to make nice slides, kind of. Anyone that can compare. Because I'm also using my. I have not once um, heard anyone. Oh no no no! I don't. These are not all my slides. Like a lot of these are just the format slides, like that it gives you, so you can have different structures, and then you duplicate the ones you want to use. That's how you use these. White pig. She is bold faced lying. But now Life we're making spirit rights. There's been a serious target on Charlie, the myself, Michael, reaction and, and I wonder what the channels. All have in common. Meanwhile, people are trying to gaslight and say it's all of us. Because no, I'll do the not, the heavy content that. stuff just gets worse for us when we finally speak up so but what we're gonna do now actually because we've been in this video for a long time uh, we're gonna move the as far as the video goes this one's also super outdated we're gonna do uh episode one of shaped by the algorithm no actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna watch uh mr snowflakes like first episode of the foodie beauty series because i'm in the intro one Two, because I don't remember Foodie Beauty's early career as much. Oh. Better be in the intro again. Someone, someone, um, tell this man I better be in his intros. I'm gonna be real mad. Um. I need to watch more of the Life by Gen ones, too. Here we go. To be just another beauty channel on YouTube. Mr. Snowflake's also, like, nice in real life. Or at least, like, if I, I like, talk to him for a while. Some channels like hers would end up becoming massively successful. Although this was usually due to their personalities rather than the actual makeup tips they provide. Now I know that because he's watched Jeffree so Star. That's like canon now. The platform, it's easy Which of these kind of epic. Behind. You have to be unique to stand out from the rest. Hey, it's Jimmy Bunker! For Chantal, she wasn't doing anything special. She would apply her makeup and not in an especially professional way either. But at least she had people that are low key almost While as messy as, as the girls. Stories. She tried to make them as interesting as possible, but no matter what story she told us, she just wasn't very engaging. And although she did have people subscribe to the channel, it wasn't many at all. Her personality just didn't appear to be engaging right. to make it big on YouTube. Oh my god, look! Budget. She seemed nice enough though, even a little quirky. And then I remember I commented this and Mr. Snowflake had like less like less subs than me at the time. Because everybody passes me. That's just like the that's like the stamp of approval, really. Um and uh he DM'd me and he's like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, are you mad at me? I'm like, no. Like it's funny. Shopping. Um, anyway, Boxing Day. I have and lush stuff. The malls were actually not as bad as I thought they were going to be. It's all snow fairy. Because I, I have. And although her videos may not have been the most interesting thing on YouTube, <laughs> she did at least appear to be a kind person. We good. So, um, I have to do something right now. I have to take an elevator, and I'm deathly afraid of elevators. I hate elevators claustrophobic i've been since i'm young and i have to take them four times right now i have to go up to okay so, so now we need to get rid of all of these cold and i have to go up there and i have to help her so i have to be brave so. oh jesus excuse this me making a noise so i'm gonna reopen I don't like hallways. my thumbnail no file thingy so i could just copy the images from there because Although i'm lazy not given us a demonstration of this yet and she told us Chantel's French is slightly more busted than mine, so I take that as I'm better than her in every way. Thank you. She just didn't know when, though. Um, the vast majority of Chantel's videos at this time was her applying her makeup and struggling to think of things to talk about. Oh my God, the dumpster diving era—that was also really epic. 
but for the people who watched along, they did learn more and more about Chantal with each new video. Peace. They learned that it's not her working. favorite color was green. Y'all better not play me like this. Cat. Okay, so the things people were learning Stop it. didn't seem to be that interesting either. But Chantal did her best to keep the stories as interesting as she was capable of. At the time it wasn't fun. That sucks. Oh, that's going to be really annoying. Peed my pants in class. Like <sighs> Chantal owning a cat didn't appear to be all that interesting. However, when she told us she was actually allergic to cats, it became slightly more interesting. interesting. She wasn't heavily allergic, but allergic enough that it would sometimes bother her. Owning a cat despite I guess allergic, there's a perfume, clearly. showed everyone just how much she loved cats. And she really did love them. And my, my, I had a fat cat named Feeberts. Feeberts. Yes, Feeberts. I have to tell you guys about Feeberts. I haven't told you guys about Feeberts. Um, I'll have to find. I'll try to find a picture, but I don't know if I have one still. I have his ashes somewhere. Yeah, I have my cat's ashes. Okay. During this time, we also learned that. I just saw one of those ten-year-old cosmetic make a let's make him Alpha Brad's my local shop. Oh jeez. Yeah, but Galen hypothetically, allegedly, Minecraft deserves to have his things, his samples destroyed. And we learned what is happening? Why is all of a sudden my copy well, paste not working? It was working before. Although the accent y'all already given that away. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Bugs a lot of you, and I'm sorry. Oh, that this really is pissing me off. We also learned her favorite shows were The Walking Dead, My Six Hundred okay. Life, and Better Call Saul. She was a big Stephen King fan, and when okay. she was not busy, she would spend most of her time watching other YouTubers. Like Patrick Star, Jeffrey Star, Leafy, and PewDiePie. <laughs> what? Chantel being a Leafy is here fan makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. <sighs> Yo. That's so funny. That's genuinely. Just iconic, okay. And she loved watching any sort of YouTube drama and just drama in general. Despite That's Chantal so epic. Loving creating okay. makeup videos and beauty videos for her channel, the channel itself wasn't exactly taking off. But at least she appeared to be happy with how it was. Or she is it written Charlie? My subscribers. Oh, okay, it's written like I that. Checked my account the other day. And uh, who else we got? Over 200 subscribers, that's so amazing. 200 subscribers, uh, guys, we should have our 200 subscriber special, actually. After doing blackface. Alex is shook drugs, give me a damn break, bitch. She may have like, only had stop that. I hate when people, like, at this point. dig but into, like, people's past with addictions. I just feel like that's, like, and in Chantal. And in just return, not necessary. She seemed interested in them. Telling them as often as she could just how much she loved them, and she would reply to as many comments as she possibly could. When Chantal was younger, she wanted to be a singer or a writer, and she had always been interested in anything to do with beauty, the makeup, the fashion. Well, that worked Looking much easier than last really time. Important to her, and what she was doing seemed to be working. And I got compliments like all day. You know, oh, it's I gonna love work. the color of your lips. I love that your lipstick. What are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. So as I was saying, a lot of people. Come ah, nails, it doesn't so fit well. It's fine. What is what it is? So many compliments. Her uh, what? A ton of compliments. Medical medium. Chantal grew up going through different stages. She was once a goth. Then in another phase, she would dress like she belonged okay. in the um, 80s. She had been interested in all of it for as long as she could remember. And now she could make videos expressing her love for all things beauty. She could share famous her birthdays with the based world, all with the goal of becoming a big star on YouTube within the beauty community. Better watch out PewDiePie cuz here I come. Yeah, PewDiePie. She's been on a journey to become a huge YouTuber. Even though star, I've been at the 30k sub range for like a year. She was currently on. I have a uh, you know, weight loss. Oh journey man. Journey on my channel. I remember on my Finsta when I got my first 100k and 100k no when i got my first like thousand views on my gabby Hanna video in like 2021 i was like pewdiepie watch out it's funny and we gotta gloss so, up like chantel Oop. yeah i'm kind of 
hungry. <laughs> Chantal had always struggled with her weight. Confessing to always overeating and binging on foods, she knew she shouldn't have been eating. She would blame her issues with food, in part, on her father who abandoned her at a young age. Her father leaving deeply affected her. She would go on to see a child psychologist and even be prescribed antidepressants. And although her and her father were in contact now... My God, exactly Michael's birthday today? It could be. They would see each other now and again, but that's all it was. Now and again, I remember him talking about had a sister that his birthday was coming up in a recent both. video. They both shared a mother, but they had different fathers. And Chantal had two younger brothers, but her and her brothers had a different mother. She hadn't even met those brothers, which was something that deeply upset Chantal. No, the amount of lip products I have a little bit criminal. of childhoods because of the situation with her father, but at least she wasn't dwelling on it or letting it define her. Chantal's channel was... Alex is shook. Does that have spaces she in it? She wanted to look good and feel good on camera, and she was on a weight loss journey as well. She wasn't making the classic mistake of starving herself, though. No crackhead diet for her. What? She was just eating sensibly, and she should have been able to continue her weight loss journey... Oh, no, okay, I see how it's spelled. ...successful manner, just as long as she kept the calories case. down. Mm -hmm. This is like crack. Stop I doing that. Guys, but I love hot sauce. Like, love. Look at this. Okay, but, but like, I mean, hot, hot sauce has like no calories. Like, who cares? But I, I literally like, I would almost like argue that's this, actually base. I can't. I can't. Because I, I also love hot sauce. Oh, okay. Not like my boyfriend. My boyfriend likes things so that I'm could like right take rust off of a cast iron. Like, that's like the hot sauce that so he likes. Like, this shit's crazy. It's like inedible, really. Um, so but I mean, it is what it is. Good. Yes, Chantal had quickly gone from makeup to mukbangs. It all started when, in one video, she ate some lasagna. I think I saved your gloss rex from the last live. If you live in Canada, the Quo Beauty lip oils, uh, as as they say, uh, eat boots down. Houston, I'm deceased or whatever. These are very good. Uh, if you're American, the about face glosses and stuff are really nice. Um, they're like pretty pigmented, but it has like a nice, like, uh, very light peppermint scent, but it's not plumping or anything. It's not burning. Um, I love the Sephora brand plumping glosses, but not the ones with the red cap. This is the red cap one. It's Garbo. The ones with the silver caps are good. Um, yeah. And honestly, like, I will, al I always have an essence gloss at all times because they're like $5. I actually like the clear essence gloss more than the clear Tower 28 gloss because it lasts longer. I have this brown Tower 28 gloss. It's the only Tower 28 one I have left. I had three and I finished two of them, actually. Um. Yeah. I also love these, like, about face, like, little uh, clicky things. I will say, like, it, like if you're in the States, because it's way cheaper in the States, at, like, Ulta, like, the About Face stuff is good. Like, the lip products are really good. The liners especially. Like, the liners are almost like a stain liner. Like, they're crazy. She would be lucky to get a few hundred views on her beauty videos. And in the video where she ate food, she got tens of thousands of views. So, she made another video eating food and another. And why not? Eating food on camera had worked for plenty of other channels. Seeing is Zachary spelled like that, or is that you spelled in French? Food, well, there was oh, no, we're balling. Okay. 
But Chantal told or Zachary with French I E at the end. I can't Julie remember. Doing these um. Okay, so we got Zachary yeah. Michael appropriately with the little halo because he's the nicest one probably. Or sorry, they're the nicest one probably. So then we got who else? We got. We have got um. I'm gonna be starting a workout. Oh, fuck FFG doy. That's gonna be. That's gonna be well a big one. Oh Jesus! Days off from muck banging and Oops, that's not what early. I wanted. Chantal was also doing something called intermittent fasting. Holy Moses! An eight-hour window to eat food, and then after that window, she couldn't eat another thing. And Marie, she was really? About losing weight and not letting the muck bangs interfere with that. Although almost immediately, she would break that fast. And eat whenever Clearly, FFG is like Jumping considered just as troll. Did seem like a not switch, but as um, like just at. as deep in that and troll thing than an interest in watching um, mukbangs anyway. Chantel. Okay, Despite what I need to do that actually is we're gonna stream snipe for a second because I need a picture of her icon and it's not on Google. Karina, yes. Oh, she's not alive anymore. I I outlived her. Damn. Howdy ho. How long have I been on for? Almost two hours. Shit. Nobody needs to hear a god. I feel like FFG in a single stream gets the amount of super chats that my rent costs every month. But we live in the same city, so that's probably her rent too. That's what I was going for. Which is like crazy. YouTube like <laughs> YouTube like notified me. They're like, Mika, go live a bunch. Then you'll get a bunch of donos. And I'm like, um, no. <laughs> I was just like dismissed. <laughs> I was like, no, go away. Boop. Um because I just feel like, because like a lot of people, like a lot of people like this, I find it's like they don't read anything from the chat unless someone like pays. And I'm like, because um, my she um, she gets like three thousand people in at a time. I get between one fifty to two hundred, which is also gonna make a big difference. She told us that for her first official oh, mukbang, I should put this. Was her eating take I need to get better at doing this, like, right away. would not be a regular thing, because for one, it was expensive, and she was actually a good cook herself. So she would be making most of the food, and making healthy food as well. And after a couple of... They super only read mukbang, super chats. To her word, she yeah, Shakara would be a good idea. ...to make the meals as healthy as she could. However, the views for the healthy home cooked meals simply weren't there compared to the unhealthy. Yeah, like so back I can understand when your chat's faster, I guess. The views for these takeout mukbangs were huge compared to anything else she had done on her channel. I love FFG's Although thing being a circle because it fits. Exciting videos. I don't really have anything to talk about like today. So my very weak graphic design skills are kind of itching right now really when i went to when i, to when I did my masters we yeah, had a design so course you know, and i just the, the, because of being a youtuber i just uh, bodied everyone the whole time like like the guy the guy would assign something and like 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 a like a basic video edit or like uh using canva and i would be done in like 15 minutes like, while all these, like, 40-year-olds are like, what do I do? And I'm just there, I'm like, D -d 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 -d. <laughs> uh, I remember I would, it was a four-hour class, and I would leave early, like, almost every time. And then my, the essentially my best friend in the program, we same. met in that class, because his computer didn't work well enough to do the stuff for the class. And I, and I was bringing my XPS, which is what I used to edit the videos on. So I'm literally like Sony. I had Movie Studio Platinum at first because I couldn't afford Vegas Pro. So I had like Movie Studio Platinum open in my class. And I'm just like, D -d 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 -d. one time I'm like sitting in the lecture because he's teaching like 
yeah, like how to use Canva. And I'm like, so I was just editing a video in the back of the class with my AirPods and like, because <laughs> I was like, well, I don't need to like, that. I was, it was actually kind of annoying to pay. Like I learned a couple things. Like I learned about um, Scratch, but I don't teach science. So it's not really something that I would have had to use a lot. Uh, Twine, I learned about menti and like 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 pull like active live polls but then a bunch of the schools now are banning phones so i can't use that stuff excuse me anyways um and then yeah no i th so i know a lot of y'all are saying people like kicking geese and stuff i'm trying to do like the ones that have like clout like across like a huge like i think I need to reserve the last two places for like um, Michael B. Petty and and um, what's your name? Karina. Because remember, this is just the intro class. Like, we're not getting into, like, you know, um, like Aphrodite's Peach or people who aren't active. Like, we're trying to be, like, as, 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 as easy as possible, right? What was it even? I was sorry. That wasn't supposed to be shady. I, it's because I don't really know who they are. Um, so I'm going to be going to... I guess I... Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. My GP. That wasn't supposed to be shady. I generally don't know. Um, because like I'm in I'm I'm in the trenches, but I'm in my own trenches. You know, like I don't really um, like the only one in this whole uh, area of YouTube who knows who I am directly is Alex and um, Mr. Snowflake. I think that's it. I've been in like Zachary Michael's Twitch chat like a couple times. I don't know if Charlie should be on there. Really? I feel like Char, but the thing with Charlie is that Charlie is so infamous. You know what I mean? Like it's the reason why we need Charlie on there is because of, of uh, Chantel beefing with her like crazy, like, sh like Charlie and, and uh French fried girl are like the biggest ops. Like, that's why we need them there. And also because of Amber Lynn fighting with her all the time. So I'm thinking Karina. We're going to have Karina and Michael as the last two. Even though, like, I watch Shakara like, all the time. But, like, I, like, it's not... It, all of these people have interacted with Amber Lynn or something directly. So, like, because, like, Charlie, like, interacted with Chantel directly all the time. Alex is literally Amber Lynn Reed's favorite channel. Zachary Michael is the one she hates the most, it seems. Um, French Fry Girl, we know why she's there. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. And then we've got Michael B. Petty because he's like the trend, like the like the the guy. Actually, we're gonna watch a Michael B. Petty video right now because I've never uh never seen one of his videos before. Oh Lordy, it's Jordy. Yes, I know what you mean. Hmm. No, but we need to have Karina because of uh, Destiny. Oh my Christ! I'm gonna need to make one of these for Amberlynn's ex girlfriends. Ah! <laughs> and then for a wifey, I'll just put a hand. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. To be referred for the weight loss surgery, I've decided. Mr. Snowflake, I love you, girl. But I need to watch a Michael B. Petty video because I've never actually watched one. You know I have no idea what I'm doing because I spaced out the words. Hello. It's ready. Hey. Hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I know it's been an awfully long time. Since Is this I've the last video? video. Um, I've had a lot of work, family, personal issues going on. Can I watch this? How do I? Oh. Hello. It's ready. Hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I know it's been an awfully long time since I've put out a video. Um, I've had a lot of work, family, personal issues going on, 
Uh, maybe in a live stream, I'll talk about all that stuff. But um, right now, I want to talk Re about Yikes on bikes. the most issue, I guess, and that's Amberlynn Reed. Oh my God, surprise, surprise, right? Um, I It's been a while since I've made a video, so I've missed a lot of stuff. Well, I haven't missed a lot of stuff. If you follow me on Twitter, um, I pretty much react to like all the videos on Twitter like while I'm watching them live. So if you want to follow me over there, then that's like a great place to go. Uh, sorry, it's hot and I'm sweating like forever, like crazy right now. I just want to. I actually don't know which one to watch. Like, what do I do? This one I remember I've seen referenced a lot here. actually. Um, it's Vlogmas Day Nine. We got a my diagnosis clickbait. I was wondering when we were okay. going to start rolling out Let's... the clickbait. Sorry, no special green screen today. Usually when it's these medical things, I feel a little iffy. I know, right? Like the Grinch has a heart sometimes. So I, sometimes I feel a little iffy about it. I know I'll probably be- um, I feel like that's not a nice screen shot. wrong. I don't know. I just didn't really feel like doing the green screen. Also, it's been one of those days. So it's like, you know what? Actually, oh my God, I'm so sorry, y'all. I need to get it together. Clearly. We're gonna go back. Oh, see, now that I've visited the channel. So I fat scam Hey, what up, here everyone? Michael Any B. Petty here. Um, wait, hold on. Hey, hey what like up, he's... everyone? Michael B. Petty here. There has been a lot going on in the Amber. That works. A lot. A lot. Sorry if I seem extra. Uh... All right, let's continue. Let's just get into this video. It's 20 minutes long. We got the speed turned up a little Is bit. Is this not the, the one where he calls out that there's a Chili's? Without further ado, or a vet near the Chili's? React. Hey, guys. So welcome to Vlogmas Hey, Day. Amber. Hi, I'm pretty sure. That's the number we are we are on. It's amazing. That's all. Everyone is lost without foodie booty so, content to react to. Been kind of hard morning. This guy's one. Yes, yes. This is an Amberlynn re. Like this apparently time. is like the person who like popularized that as a as a concept on YouTube. So it was just like little tiny things. According like, to the first video we watched at the beginning of the stream. Like jump on me. Um, she likes to jump on the couch. And my back is itchy again. And stuff like that. And I realized she wasn't doing those things. Okay. And Anyone recommend a good horror movie? Know, um, my bed is on the floor. Uh, she wouldn't even jump on that. She went up. No, I don't watch good. those. That's I only watch movies, like, sadly. So I don't know anything. And then when she but chat. The bed, she couldn't really walk. It's probably her nails. Chat. It's probably the chat. nails that you never trim. Chat. We <laughs> we did a horror movie. I really sat there bawling my eyes out because she was in so much pain that she was shaking. So. Oh my god, we, that poor doggy. I don't really have like any. Oh my god, we're not going that deep. We're not doing that. We're showing this to my friend who, like, when I, like, I'll talk about, or, like, I'll put out an Amber video. She skips all my Amber videos pretty much because she doesn't understand anything that's happening. Like, that's where we're at. Emergency because Twinkie's in horrible pain. I don't know if it's, like, did I? Am I stupid? Probably. While we weren't home, she, like, jumped off the couch wrong. Oh, slay. So at three in the morning? What's today? Monday? Like, anything could be happening. And the only horror movie I've heard about in the past, like, I've five years about, is like that serbian film I'm movie like really because of like tiktok saying not to watch it that's like all i know about it to make me feel better like what is, isn't midsummer what, like a horror movie make you feel better your dog is hurting dog like who your cares dog is about hurting, you dog. and your feelings your dog sounds like she's in excruciating pain i almost said excruciating. that's how much i've been watching this girl she sounds like she's in excruciating pain like i'd be more focused on making sure my dog was okay not how my feelings are <laughs> oh, this, you know, is normal, or, oh, this is going to pass, you know. So I'm just, like, really worried about Is that, that. a dirty screen grab, um, really? They're like, oh, my God, why aren't you wearing makeup? Because, like, I've been... Who ca Girl. Instantly Whatever. into herself, dude. Like, I... Close enough. She is a narcissist through and through. Like, immediately I feel like this is fine. This, whole entire this looks story, better than most of my screen grabs of myself for my videos. Her. That's really what that was about. Like... And, and no 24 7 vets in Kentucky. Like, isn't Kentucky, like, one of the, like, largest... I think it's like well, I'm going to switch this uh, text box country. because Isn't he's also been inactive since 2020 in, in America that is has tons of horses and like animal livestock and stuff like that. So like you would think that there would be a shit ton of vets, even in the most rural parts of Kentucky. I find it very hard to believe that there's not a 24 seven. <laughs> okay, here's my tea. I, I lived in a rural area with lots of farmers and stuff, but like. The farmer vets are not touching the chihuahua girl. Like, it's not the same. And, like, the nearest vet for me was, like, an hour drive almost. Like, 40 minutes. It was not close. 
So. I don't know. I would. This is a girl who drove. Is Focor bad? At four I, don't, in the morning I don't know anything. To go we, to Cheesecake Factory there and back. Okay, here's another thing. Like, and you're telling. Part of me wants to be a an imperial system blooded American just because I can go to Walmart at two o'clock in the morning. Like, that sounds so epic to me. Like, what do you mean? I don't think people understand. Like, it's the law in Quebec. So that everything on the weekend closes at five. Like it's like Walmart, like store, most major retailers. And then what, what's allowed to stay open is like restaurants and stuff. And then um, you've got uh, on the weekdays, it's like nine, I think holiday season and then seven or eight. Otherwise, like I just want to be able to like be like, oh, dang, like right now, like while everything's closed. So if I need anything, like, you're shit out of luck. The only thing that you're allowed, like, there's, like, some um, exceptions. Like, I know there's um, a grocery, there's some, like, grocery stores that are able, it's, like, there's, I don't know what the provisions are for that. I guess it's, like, if it's deemed, like, as a specifically essential one or something, are allowed to be open until, like, 10, 11. What? Yes, yeah, so I said, so it's. Yeah, so it's a special license to um, be open that late. So, like, I can remember, like, there's one metro that closes at, like, 11. There's a few. There's, like, an IGA that closes at 11. There's a uh, a Walmart that near one of my friends that closes pretty late, I think, or, like, the metro there, maybe. Not the Walmart. I don't remember. Anyway, point is... Like, I can't imagine, like, I remember when I lived in Waterloo, like, most stuff closed at, like, 11. Uh, or, like, 10, 9, 10, at least, I miss it. So. Restaurants, though, in bars and stuff in Montreal are open like, till like, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, like, every day. Dog to like, get her the proper medical attention that she deserves. And I don't want to wear makeup. All right, sis. Breathe. Just a lot. So, and Dana and Destiny are still here. Hello. That's why they're not going. That's why you haven't. Because Dana and Destiny are there, and that's what. Is it French fry to girl or French fried girl? Uh, I think it's fried like pasta. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing today. I'm not really sure how. Of course, they don't care either because they don't care about their animals either. I don't know. I'd feel so a type we're of at way. Walmart because I had to get. Oh, we're Sam. Okay, so he's just big pissed all the time, but like not crazy. I feel like we only have 24 hour fast food. Yeah. Um. Even then, like COVID killed that too. Yes, Tim's, that's true. But I even remember like, um, I'm pretty sure like the McDonald's near like the metro stations and stuff used to be open all night, but I'm pretty sure like, I feel like I've taken like one of the last metros that like one and uh like am and like the it was closed you know i've been i've been a little bit shit faced in mount royal once or twice hypothetically allegedly in minecraft maybe and had to take a bus really late and everything was closed we're at walmart so we can go to walmart are you really gonna sit here and tell me that there is not a 24 7 vet and i can't but we're going to go to Walmart. Our, our poor dog was sick and she can't even walk and she can't even get on the bed. But we're going to go to Walmart. There is emergency vets near me in the city, though. Mr. Stupid Ass once stole a remote and he popped out the batteries. And I thought he ate one of the batteries because I could not find anything like i'm crawling on the ground looking for batteries like i eventually find the remote and he had a little pillow under this bed he hid the battery underneath so my boyfriend's gone at the emergency vet that he had to get uber to because at the time we didn't have the we were sharing a car with his brother and his brother was in I mean, anyway um and uh <laughs> and like i find the battery I call my boy, like, he, he, he crawled up the chair onto a table, onto another table, and took the remote. Like, he wanted specifically the remote for whatever reason. Um, and uh, it was while I was um, 
I was teaching a student um, online or something. And then my boyfriend was uh, taking a shower or something like that. Anyway, his bitch ass. Um, he, he went with my boyfriend to the vet because I said, take him to the vet. I'm not going to go with you. I'm going to look for the battery. And if I find the battery, um, why is this person being so weird? I'm going to Sam, what are you doing anyway? Um, and then, um, we, yeah, I'm like, what is going on? Uh, and then when I found the battery, Gus had already gone in for, they had, he had been checked in with a vet where the vet just kind of like touched his tummy. Um, and yeah, no, the, the problem too was the remote was up. And he had, we didn't realize he had grown just enough to crawl onto the coffee table. Then there was this other higher table next to that he then used to crawl on to get the remote. Um, anyway, so I was telling him, so he, he had registered and then my boyfriend paid like 50 bucks for the registration. But then I called him and I said, I found the battery. So he hasn't eaten anything. He's fine. And also meanwhile, too, he's at the vet. He's in high spirits. He, he's fine. Like he's not scared. He's just like chilling. Um, and then we but then they refunded him which was really nice of them to not charge him because it's like if you enter the emergency vet you're paying like 200 bucks for anything for any scan you need anything like that but they refunded him uh because they were like oh they felt bad that like he panicked thinking and i ended up finding the battery i think they were happy that i that i took the intuition kind of to like look and they were like you know clearly like it was just something silly so it's fine kind of thing that's what i gather anyway I don't know. I wouldn't leave my dog's side. That's just me. I wouldn't leave my cat's side. There's few things in this on this earth or whatever that like trump anything and those they trump everything and everyone. If something is wrong with them, I will figure it the fuck out. I will drive to another state if I need to. I mean, you drive more for orange chicken. I can't, dude. So and Becky's always behind me by pure coincidence. I um, think. Nope. So we bought a new TV this year and it's a Samsung TV. The monitor that I'm screen sharing right now is a 32 inch monitor that doubles as a smart TV. That's 4K. I bought it because it's pink. Uh, it, and it was on sale for like $360 plus. I paid 400 bucks for it, even almost. Um, this is like a $700 monitor. So I was like, let's go. I bought this last year when I started doing uh, uh, higher resolution videos. And it comes with this remote. Have fun, Megan. This, so this is the remote. And our new TV had the exact same remote. And I know this dog has been thirsting for this remote for like a year. Because I've seen his little paws up on my desk trying to get this remote. And I swear to God, it was an hour. I was... I went to bed because I was really tired. It was like right after we came back from Christmas... Um, and it was the same day the foodie beauty text had come out. So I was like, I was like, I want to go to my room and like watch videos and like script and stuff. And then he ate the remote like this, like through the whole plastic all in the front in like 10 minutes. I was just like, what is this? We had to, we ordered replacement remotes on Amazon. Yes. Do you, I'll be an influencer for a second and I'll link the monitor for you. Because I can't share oh, my screen with Amazon because it will dox you. me. And I found some Christmas pillows. Because this is all for you. Oh, it's all about you. Living. And I, was thinking I can't believe she really wanted people to feel bad for her for the Twinkie thing and then immediately is out here shopping in her cart. Aesthetic. Ooh, let me smell it. What's that one called? You seem so worried. It's bergamot cedar and So milk. worried. You wanted to feel Ooh, so much that better. Clean. That one smells good too. It smells clean. Dude. She likes clean. Oh, Surprised she didn't try to do one of those cutesy. Uh, Not affiliated, girls. Like flattering to her. How about neglectful Lynn or animal abuser Lynn? How about those? This one, you guys. 
This dog has been thirsty for this win. remote for a year. Nobody is like he had so like same thing with like he ate. He loves hardcover books. So I went to the bathroom and put this on my side table because I was gonna read, and he ate it. And I'm also gonna get like he ate and I cried. I cried because a subscriber got me this book. This is Jesus and John Wayne. And I had tabbed it up all nice. I was reading it while I was like commuting to teach. And he ate it in five minutes. Satan. Those aren't gonna like, this dog, dog is so cute, okay, but he's also the devil. The vet. Of course, Amber's solution is food. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Them. I'm going to be real Why with y'all. I think he left Girl World because it's really annoying to hold a job when you have an internet presence and it's genuinely like stressful and difficult and people will make things difficult for you for no reason. Yes, I know it comes in the green and I am a green girl. Like I love, I call it the gay shade of green because it's like sage green <laughs> because of the bisexuals. <laughs> but like I love that shade of green, but the pink one was the only one on sale. Cause you see, it says online it says six forty nine. Um, I paid three forty nine for it, or something like that. Or it, it came out to like four hundred, almost exactly, uh, after taxes. So, but the I I actually prefer the color of the green one. But the thing with the green one is this: is it? Oh, you know, it's 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 green in the same place. Okay, the blue is also super cute. But it's out of stock, sadly. But yeah, I remember it's because I was kind of, I found myself kind of thirsting over the IMAX, like the new IMAX. And I was Not like, well, I can't have that oh, because I don't that? like the OS. So. In two weeks. <laughs> You have but two weeks. Like, um, in their water? You were talking you about needing to go to the emergency vet. Yeah. My iPad is silver though because I bought a Pro and they don't come in um, slate colors. To, like, slowly massage them and see like. And then wait till you go to the vet. Yeah. I'm worried though. Like I can't. I felt so bad leaving her. Yeah. No. Michael B. Petty though is still all over. Um, Twitter. I didn't buy it for seven hundred. I bought it for three fifty. Also, I want to say that. I also have a very different job than y'all, right? Obviously, like I, I edit videos for hours and hours at a time. And like video editors are like super tiny, like very precise little lines. Um, and uh, it's like very hard to see, it's very straining. And then also I needed a 4K display um because i was recording in 4k and i needed to see the same thing because also my 1080p monitor is very gray like the colorways are really bad so i would edit videos and then i would turn the saturation up a bunch thinking that the video the issue with the video was my footage but then now when i watch some of those videos back on my like nice monitor i'm like oh my god it's awful like but also what my favorite part about this monitor was I used to wake up uh, to to go to teach and I have to wake up at like 6 a.m. And it has all the little like um, streaming service buttons on it if it wants to work. There we go. So like and also obviously like this can navigate without the PC being on. So it also has the full smart TV UI. So what I would do is I would turn on the monitor and then I would open like YouTube on the monitor or Netflix or whatever. I remember I loved watching Thousand Pound Sisters while I got ready in the morning. Um, and I can do it without turning on and logging into my PC or anything. So then too, I just turn it off with the off button when I left instead of having to like go on my computer and be like, turn it off and da 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 da. So it's like the same thing as like there's a bed here and when I have guests over, and they're staying in this room, they can watch TV on my monitor with a remote and everything. So it it has served me very well. And I've told people, because a lot of people come into my office and they see the television size monitor on my desk, because there's also two monitors on top of that, by the way. And they're like, this is ridiculous. Like, why do you have this? And then within like five minutes, they're like, okay, wait, this is pretty epic. Except my, um, my bestie from grad school was jelly immediately. He was like, this is, Epic as fuck. And I'm like, I know. And it's pink. If I influence one thing, I love my monitor anyway. And then the first one I got actually had a couple dead pixels on it. I got it on Amazon and I returned it and I got another one within 24 hours. 
Like it was an immediate turnaround. And so it's so what I'm saying is that these monitors, because they're like high end, like they oh, will no, replace it right away if there's something wrong with it. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at the people around there like, look at these fuck. Okay. This is gonna sound look I and I mean this with kindness. Look at how dead Beck's eyes look. Like this was when it was really bad. I remember Beck calling this the depression jacket. But like look at the like dead stare and like Amber's making them drive everywhere. Like that's crazy. Cool. I can't. Yeah. Where are they at? Restaurant, Chili's. How'd They're like at Chili's. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do something I never do. Let's see. Let's see Chili's. No, 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 no. 24-7 vet in Somerset, Kentucky. See, he's so much smarter than me opening incognito tabs okay. to do things because I'm like too stupid. This seems promising. The hours, okay. Oh, we need to go to like the website. So Make it with the Epic. Okay, do we need to know what my Epic Gamer setup is? <laughs> I have a ring light hanging on my wall. You can see it with my glasses. Then I have the pink monitor here. And then I have the less, like the kind of crap, like the, the my 1080p monitor is a Dell 75 hertz monitor I bought on Best Buy on Black Friday for like a hundred bucks. But then they sent me two by accident. So I sold the other one to my friend for like $20 more than I paid for it. <laughs> But it's because on Black Friday, I got 70%. I got like 60% off or something. Um, and then, so he still saved $70, okay? I, I landlorded a little bit because whatever. Anyway. And then um, I, so I have that, those two monitors. Then I have the mic on the mic arm, which I need to buy a new mic arm because like, I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate it so much. I need one of those like low profile ones that's like actually nice. But again, we're a little poor. Anyway, um, then I have my um, camera on a tripod. Then the desk is shoved against it so the tripod stays up. That's right here in the middle. So that's why I'm always looking like this because my monitors are, are here. And then I have a tiny nesting table between mine and my boyfriend's desk with my gigantic PC tower on it. Which on top of my PC tower, I have a couple squishmallows and this duck light <laughs> that like is squishy. Um, and I don't know if we need a... Um, I don't know if we need a PC specs thing or not. Let me know. And hours, hours of operation. My camera is the Sony ZV-E10. It's a thousand Canadian dollars, but I don't know. We're for, I find my videos are really nice looking. And then when I hear about other people's cameras that look comparable to mine, they're like double the price. And I record in 4K and everything. All you need to do is you cannot buy a regular SD card. You have to buy like a special one. So I guess like premium or something. And hours. Hours of Speaking operation. of which, blah, blah, blah. Um, Emma, After I think I found emergency. my other During one. office hours, call the regular clinic and be prepared to dial extension number 30. After hours, the on-call emergency veterinarian can be reached. After hours, emergency fees will apply if your pet must be seen. So it seems to me... Like it's possible to get your vet... The person in this chat that knows me in real life, hours. I have this. Now, let's see. We're going to put this in. Directions. Let's is see. this useful to Let's you? See where the chili is. I can't use this in my camera chilies. anymore. So let me know if you need Summer this. Somerset, Kentucky. So the chilies is a six-minute drive to the hospital. I'm, so, you know, dude. Um, hundred. I had I had a hundred-dollar Logitech webcam, and honestly, I streamed with it and stuff. It was fine. It wasn't too bad. Uh, we need your PC specs. Oh no! Hello on my last nerve. All right, um, disclaimer, 128 gigabytes, by the way, uh, randomly the SD card for the person who knows me in real life. Now, um, disclaimer, I bought this PC knowing one, I was going to school full time and a lot of my stuff was online and I was teaching and I had to grade a lot of stuff also online. 
two. Um, I can write this stuff off on my taxes. And I did that knowing that as a fact. I even called my accountant first and asked him. It's like, hey, girl. And he's like, well, yeah, that's 100% write off because all of your work involves that computer. And I'm like, very epic slay. Tertiarily, my brother is an electronics technician and he put it together for me. And I went into that knowing that was a possibility. All right. Now, computer specs time. I have a, I have 64 gigabytes of DDR5. They happen to be RGB because that's what was on sale at the time. Um, I have liquid cooling. Also RGB, don't know why. I will get back to the video just as, like, as soon as I'm done this. Um... I have a Republic of Gamers Z790 motherboard. I have um, a Intel i7-13,000K. Oh, my little guess. Um, and then I have a... I have three terabytes of M.2 SSDs. One Samsung 970 EVO Plus and one Sam and uh, at one terabyte, that's my C drive. And then my D drive is two terabytes of Samsung 980 Pro SSD. And then my graphics card is the um, GeForce RTX 4070. Back to the video. I can't. The things that take priorities in this woman's life are astounding to me. I'm not going to buy this whole we're worried sick, we'll go beyond, I'm the best, best firm. On oh, it's even on the same fucking road. Shocker. Um, I'm not, you know what, I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised in the slightest. Can't even take care of your animals, right? Like the chips and salsa. Yeah, we ate them. Ate them real good. <laughs> I got Cajun shrimp pasta. Ooh. Those don't have shrimp on it. Where's the shrimp? Hmm? How do I remember all those numbers and letters? Because of how much it cost me, girl. Let's be serious. I got Cajun shrimp pasta. I also researched, like, I looked into it for a long time because I was not about to, like, Screw up something that's like that much money. What? Oh, okay. I don't Here's game with it because I don't particularly PC. like gaming on a PC. So when we went to Walmart earlier, I did get two things besides Twinkies. I don't want to say. So that I make like stuff. Minecraft. And I want to give it to her later. You suck. But, um, you suck so much. I don't know if you guys remember, but I have this really cute Disney princess like mug, but I use it as a bowl for like chili or whatever. If you guys ever oh. went to Walmart. And then I have a um, Cherry MX Blue um, HyperX FPS Pro keyboard with custom keycaps of Spike's family. And this random Logitech mouse that I got my brother to get me for my birthday because it's purple. Look in the like gift aisle. It's kind of near like the park. I just think it's so weird that like she was just talking about how sick her dog was and we're sitting here talking about mugs from walmart like am i the only one that's kind of like flabbergasted by this i guess i'll do the it's avatar because you don't show her face so anymore weird. it like doesn't the, make sense to birthday me cards and the stuff like that like it's hard to explain but i got cheshire you sit here goofing with your <laughs> oh no i know that the computer i know that the computer is great for gaming i know that but like things like um video editing is one of the most like intensive processes on a PC too. That's why it has all that stuff. But then it turns out that my, uh, like Sony Vegas is an almost entirely CPU rendering software. While when I was using movie studio platinum, it used more of my graphics card. So I got a really good graphics card thinking that that would matter. And then it didn't. So about how you were Ooh, thinking of needing to take so your pet that, to number. Sometimes my boyfriend, um, will use my PC to play, like, games with ray tracing, like the Spider-Man game, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. From Alice in Wonderland, Bet. which I thought was super cute. And then I got 
Minnie Mouse, which I love. Her, her ability to disassociate is love. amazing. So to me. I actually use these like <laughs> more than I even use regular bowls. Like I'll. Okay, thanks, ma'am. It would have been quicker, but they had to show me everything. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Dustiny. Have a safe home. Ooh. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I use yeah, these Destiny for, like, and Dana squeeze. take priority like over anything, helping your sick animal. Amber so simps like so yeah, hard for Destiny. For That's so crazy. Surprise. Shocker. Two perfect size, and I love them. This is actually the newest addition to our Christmas decor. Remember these tree fillers? We didn't need them, so Ricky put them up there. Actually, thanks. So. I think it was really cool. Oh my god! I need to have YDHB That's in here because. She knows about Ooh, that because I am I complained about her a ton. So I need to add one. It's not good for her to be on antibiotics and how I'm going to build Oops. an immunity to it. So are there more among us? I mean, she would need to take like way more antibiotics more frequently in order for that to happen. So like the people that are like telling her that are a little bit much. I have been talking to a subscriber who for some reason made me feel comfortable enough to like open up to her about like what's been going on it's probably bye bye belly I, i'd put money down it's bye bye belly and she thinks that i should tell my audience because people are kind of freaking out which i understand you know it's not as bad as what it was if that makes sense so i'm kind of just gonna yeah so, cause you click oh my god dude you like made your audience think that you were dying like you acted as if you were dying in the vlogs too and then you never talked about it you never gave any kind of clarification <laughs> explain the best that i can the whole situation and everything that kind of happened so i was out in the living room and i was just hanging out with eric ricky and becky at that point in time i actually sat on a mattress in the floor we would bring it out there whenever we were out there like hanging out i don't have to do that anymore because my legs don't bother me like they used to which i'm very grateful for and i remember ricky saying something like um oh my god it's so cold out ricky here. i'm gonna catch you like, ricky i was like it's kind of hot to be honest so i remember that point pivotally because it has a lot to kind of do with like the next part she's like a child when they try when they're like lying to you and they're trying to yeah. like explain something they Set, yeah. explain life by jen like to my understanding passed away from like obesity related causes but like life by jen was also like 600 something pounds and then she like went to a clinic and i think she came back for a very short period of time and then passed away so Maggie's uses entirely CPU. Yeah. I know part like I the thing is I tried to get into Sims 4 and then couldn't even figure out how to build a house and then just quit. Like I have no clue how to do it. Like I just got really like, I don't know. Like literally what the most recent game I played on Steam was golf with your friends on this computer. So Yeah, I know it's a bit of a problem. I, I, I actually genuinely, I know it's something so stupid to get. I, I get like anxiety and I get like sad that like Just I don't use it point. enough. Like, gosh. So it's probably an hour later. Like I feel bad. Really cold, and our hardwood floors get cold, and my legs were on the hardwood floors because I was sitting on the end. Of the oh, mattress. thank God, my safe so search is on. Girl. That's why I blamed it on. And I was like, Becky, can you get me a blanket? So she got. Get up and get yourself a blanket. Get me a blanket, and it wasn't working. So long story short. I was not only shivering on the outside, but I was shiv shivering on the inside. I'm sure a lot of you kind of know what I'm talking about. No. Oh, like, there's oh I, there I am. There's no such thing. We don't know. A fever is starting. So I came into the bedroom and I put three super thick blankets on top of me and I was still super cold and I was continuously ch checking my temperature. First thing I thought was, okay, I have the flu. This is exactly what's going on. I did a lot of research online and it said very, very, very mat matter of factly, that if your temperature goes above 102.7 finally i a man can understand okay. <laughs> make it her she loves those like points like she loves like I, the only reason i'm including um sarah is like, because i want to be able to those. complain about her idea is to go to the er but i was like, like dead ass she's not a fan no, of whole numbers like we don't stand whole numbers on this channel like common when it comes to a fever so i was like i'm not going to do that it's probably just a flu that i'll let pass so as time went on it kept creeping up eventually it got to 103.1 when you're as big as me, you need to be very, very careful with fevers or just like any sort of sickness at all because you never know what could end your life. And I know that sounds so dramatic, but when I did... I mean, if that was the case and you were really concerned and, and that was the, the, an actuality for you, then wouldn't oh, you have I've done heard, something like, about this a long time Sims ago? Sims needs to be run on a spaceship. Like, <laughs> like if, if being the oh, no, size I don't want, is I want so detrimental to your health, which it is, 
wouldn't you have fixed this or tried to fix this a while ago instead of like continuing on this path and like not taking showers and stuff like that like wouldn't that be a thing just go to the throwing ER that out there i did end up going as you guys know when i did go to the er the guy said i'm very yeah glad we know you clickbaited it twice like a super high fever so they took my pee i did blood testing so on my nose you know i went piss girl and, and <laughs> sorry we waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> turns out which keep watching because the story goes on a little bit longer he came back and he said there was a lot of bacteria in my blood there was a lot of bacteria in my pee but what scared me the most is he said there was a lot of white cells like my white cell count was super high i think the sad thing is is that i think that was she had cancer and that's why that stuff's coming up so, right because you have an infection that freaked me out no one wants to hear that so he said you have a horrible like, he, like so my macbook air is not it uh, but he said i have a horrible bladder infection did I? I said that. I said she probably has a bladder infection that may have moved into a kidney infection. So he prescribed me antibiotics, and I thought, okay, well, I guess that's it. Like, you know. So as you guys know, um, I went home, but then I woke up and went back to the ER. So what happened was, <laughs> let's do another little flash. I can already tell she's going to lie right now because she did this whole, <laughs> like, thing, and she throws her head back. Who's nerfy? Like, oh, you're about to lie. All right, here we go. What's this lie going to be? Back here. It was probably up most to like what are they what are they what contents do they make? Um Dana and Destiny. Your PC's eight grand and Sims doesn't run on it. Girl. <laughs> Throw out the whole thing. My PC was uh three grand Canadian, pretty much, top to bottom. But that doesn't include Ooh, quesadillas. That doesn't include um any of the monitors, keyboards, mice, anything like that. Like that all was, uh, already, I already had for my, uh, then when I was using the laptop. So three grand is, is just like the tower, the PC parts. Oh, my power supply. I have an 850 watt power supply. I have the, um, uh, gold, but what brand was that? Corsair. I have the Corsair gold one. Yeah, I know The Sims is optimized really bad. It's like it's like the same thing as like I have a 4070 and a 13th Gen i7 with overclock. And I technically would not be able to run Cyberpunk in 4K. But I have way more RAM and a better processor and my graphics card's only one down from where it's supposed to be, so I think it would work, but still. We're sleeping over and the mattress was in the living room because I was out there and I had to sit on it while we were hanging out. I know it's pathetic. And we were all about to go to bed. And we were all like up and cleaning. And I Yeah, right, girl. You just asked your girlfriend in the story before to get up to get you a blanket. You weren't up and cleaning. Don't do this. Walked past the mattress and I don't know how, but my baby toe toenail. Probably because like, you're like super, you the way you walk, that's probably why. Like I said, I don't want to share any of this, but I feel like I kind of have to. Like... I, I'm tired of people worrying. So my baby toe toenail hooked on to the mattress and bent backwards, if you will. I started freaking out. Okay. I was like gushing blood. I was so scared. Becky almost passed out at one point because one, she doesn't do toes. The yogas were, yeah, seemed to be okay. I do your toes either. Disgusting. Blood oh, oh my it's a... Uh... Actual pinky okay, what like, do you mean you're still alive? It, it I have honestly, a problem. What about scary, it? But thankfully, like... Destiny was like... I'll fix I go live for a lot. I don't go live that often, but when I do, it's a long time. Okay, I'm here for so, the bit. Okay, good old destiny to the rescue. I've also just been making this PowerPoint the whole like time, whole, like a whole thing. Okay, um, hmm? she did the best. Probably she could. not. You're like probably being a drama queen, a, like, and it probably didn't even happen. So, my whole toenail came off. Hi, nice to meet you. And I did everything I could to keep it clean. Band aid, da da da. Like I did everything. I did a lot of research. Like. This is like a very common thing because it happened when I was younger. But on my hey, other girl, day, are you I'm mad that I'm still alive? Because like that's like a bit so silly. Lucky. I feel like it's oh. Sunday. I'm not doing anything. I was taking care of it. I was like, okay, everything's fine. The thing is, also most people like streamers go live for eight hours. So me doing like two and a half hours, three hours here and there, I really don't think is the end of the world. You know, like you, no matter how much you clean something, you could still get bacteria in it. It can cause infections. Like no matter what, even though I did everything I could. Something bad could still happen. Oh, it's a good thing. Okay, so, well, I didn't know that. Was... Word, about <laughs> All right. a month after that, which was... So, we need the other section. So, I went to the ER. We need to duplicate this. Okay, simple enough. I woke up the next day, and my whole bottom of my leg was super 
Leg. Like, like hot. Cellulitis. And I knew exactly Hi, what it was. Hi, gamers. <laughs> I knew exactly what Hello, Mudkip Millie. Cellulitis. Yep. And I put everything, two and two together, because I've had cellulitis before. I've had it twice. I was in high school both times. I put two and two together, and I was like, I have to go back because the oh, shit was sleeping so silly. The fever. It wasn't because of my bladder infection. Okay, now I need that was a coincidence. It was because I had cellulitis and it was growing, and I didn't realize that realize that at the time. And the worst part is everyone's wrong because she had up. cancer. So that scared me because last time I had cellulitis. Like, well, I I actually life. genuinely like feel really weird watching any 20 like 2020 videos again because i know that all of these ailments are untreated cancer because like she just goes to the er for everything at, at this time anyway i think the reason she's telling this us this story is because in a vlog a couple of vlogs ago she said she went to the er and she wasn't sick What's the problem so with she was this? probably getting a lot of shit for that if you know you're prone to cellulitis like that, and I mean, people, a lot of people, different kinds of people can get cellulitis from many different things, but like from stubbing your toe, that's not really that common. Like people don't get cellulitis from stubbing their toe. The issue is that she has horrible lymphedema in her leg. So her, her body isn't able to like get fluids and everything down there like it's <laughs> supposed to. It can't drain fluid properly. So it can't heal things like that in, in a correct manner. But that's her All y'all are just telling me how you had lives, and, uh, like actual know. lives like, to live while I'm still here. I feel like this is a really long drawn out story now. too. I'm older now. I'm more unhealthy now. So I couldn't mess around with that. So I ended up going back to the ER. And I showed them, and they said, yeah, you do have cellulitis. So and then we're going to call this when my the girls' got yanked off, biggest somehow, I don't know how, ops. because like I said, I took care of it, and Becky eventually started. But you haven't been taking care of your body in general, so that's how. That's how this happened, is because you don't take care of your body in general. You allow things to just keep building up and getting worse and getting worse. So now when things happen to you, it happens fast. Hold Life happens more. fast. I got a bacteria in it. And the thing is, cellulite. Becky was helping you more. This does not only affect obese people. All right. I know a lot of people think that, which means that you don't have the knowledge of people. But you've gotten it like three times now, and you were getting it when you were younger, and you were you've been morbidly obese since you were like thirteen. So like obviously this has a lot to do with your size, a lot, because most people don't stub their toe and get All cellulitis right. in their whole ass leg. But girl, how are you getting bladder infection? You're not cleaning right with cellulitis like you don't know i mean i know it. women yes, get them, a lot but of like... morbidly obese people do get cellulitis, um but so do skinny people like here we go i want one of these people. ones and it is when yeah like just how like fat people get cancer and so can skinny people but like the reason why yours progresses so quickly over the most tiniest thing like a, t a he even talked toe. about cancer and its progression oh my god the hindsight on this is crazy oh is because you have wrecked your lower body with the lymphedema. Bacteria goes into your skin. It is a skin infection that can go inside of your blood and become a blood infection. I want yeah, to mega shot, go to bed. Before it reached my blood. I was a teacher, go to sleep. Become, become life threatening. Long story short, the the ER. Th this was the short version of this story. Told me to continue taking the antibiotics because it not only will help my cellulitis, but it will also help my bladder infection. So I was like, oh cool, I'm taking antibiotics for two things. We can kill two things at once. And it turns out the antibiotics How do I get the did image really out? help with my cellulitis. But I could tell that my bladder infection was not going away. And so that's why I scheduled the doctor appointment. Oh, so she wasn't scheduling the doctor's appointment because she was like taking her health seriously and she wanted to like Bruh. get on track and start. It was because she's had a couple life scares. And so now she's like really scared, you know, and so she had to see a doctor. And There's a way to and, do this and, and I always forget. And I still have the bladder infection and it's really... Is it normal for like women to like have a bladder infection that consists and oh, here persists we go. through antibiotic treatment? Like I feel like that's a little much. Really bad, and I'm not sure what's causing it because TMI. So oh yeah, it's not gonna work because it's a stupid. Um, oh my god, like, yeah, that's what we call it, Yandi. People will use these things against me, and it's very TMI. And people aren't gonna use it against you. It's just it's. I don't want to upload for my PC because it's gonna like, be. People have been cringe. saying you're gonna start encountering things like this for four five years and you never wanted to listen and i just know that a lot of girls suffer from it a lot of people that i know like i'm not saying like back here whatever but <sighs> i'm just saying like girls suffer with that like i know guys get it too but it's like super common but mine isn't going away and it's like freaking me out so my doctor put me on a stronger antibiotic that i've never taken before 
So do I like me on unflattering, but no, I also don't like Amber, so I don't yes, care. But I'm hoping that this will be. I mean, the fact that you have bladder infections that are persisting. Why is it antibiotics Would be more of like crazy to me than having to take antibiotics, in my opinion. The final straw. Like this is the second time I've had one. I don't know what's causing it. Like there's so many different reasons. But yeah, that's that's what it is. Hygiene, I, probably. I was terrified about the cellulitis, the bladder infection. Like it wasn't really that big of a deal to me even though that's also scary because it can travel to your kidneys like it is a whole thing but i was more so like i am I felt like obviously I the biggest well boomer the bacteria, on earth because like, this girl, is just more than you need to take mess. care of your toe it's a whole body thing your your immune system is stressed to the max because of what you've done to it and too and that's how i got cellulitis and that's usually just how it works just do this because it can go like inside i mean of the that's why your like cuts and stuff don't heal either because you should just yeah, Your that'll body do. is already stressed out. Oops, I muted it. Like, you can get cellulitis from that. Even if I like how unflattering this is. And I, I hate when, like, what does this have to, like, she has, to, it's interesting, like, her and Chantel do this too. Like, they have to make this, like, a thing, like, well, you skinny people can, it can happen to skinny people too. It can, Yes, it can, we all know that. We are uh, not aware of that. But the fact that you are 600 pounds means that you are more predisposed to getting things like this. You are, your chances of, Getting infections and then persisting and not clearing up is a lot higher because of your size, not because you're overweight, because you are morbidly obese. It was just, I was ashamed because I know exactly what people would say, and I know it's going to be down in the comments. I know exactly what the comments are going to say, but I just feel like I should be open with you guys. I know. That's why you're putting these disclaimers about how skinny people can get sick, too. Yeah, we know that. A lot of people are skinny, and we know they get sick, too. And that's... But you stubbing your toe and getting a whole ass infection from it is pretty Oh, it's mirroring them. Common. Interesting. It's what I'm going through. And we can all just hope the antibiotics help with my bladder infection and that it doesn't And you've gotten it like this is your third time getting cellulitis. Right like we really don't. That's just it right there. So just keep me in your thoughts. No. Please. No. Um, I figured we can do Girl, it all no. day now. And then what happened to your dog? Figured, what um, happened to your dog? I should know. So it is time for comment. Of the I mean, day, he's real as fuck for that, day. actually. Yesterday, so I'm gonna do a few comments from Joy. that video that I was supposed to, and then we'll get back into schedule and do epic the video. We got Queen Beezer. Hopefully that made sense. So these comments will be from Let's Decorate for Christmas, Vlogmas Day Seven. Yes, I remember the all the like it can happen to skinny people stuff. It's Did annoying. I my sweatshirt, I actually got it from Torrid. Am I the only one so. who didn't think her comments were that bad? She was talking like anyone else would. She was getting frustrated like anyone else would after. Reading I feel like I'm making like a People roster. Apart everything she does because they don't like her. Y'all are weird sometimes. It's true. What I said about Michael definitely, like, isn't justified. Oh, God. Here we go. What I think is frustrating <laughs> to me is that the same people who are upset with what I said do far more worse and aren't upset with themselves. That's what's strange to me. So she... Okay. So what I heard was she apologized to me because she would think that it would somehow correct my behavior and my attitude towards her. But, girl, that's... Where's, a, like, a, that pretty purple cover? Where did it Be, go? Um... Yeah. Raise I'll your take hand it off if of you Amber. falsely accuse someone of rape on this platform. Raise your hand if you consistently neglect your animals on this platform. Raise your hand if you scammed people out of money for a GoFundMe. Like, so if we're going to start talking about who's worse on this platform, dog. He really, actually, like, ate talk, her up there. Like, that was actually nuts. I knew that that, pl I knew that that apology was insincere. That's why I didn't care. I don't, I mean, I don't care if someone wants to make a comment on my way either. Like, go for it. But, like. I know it wasn't sincere. It was not. It wasn't an apology. Hello, love your me. work, Mika. Just for, here and watching. Yeah, I don't really like calling new, people that either. The new likes and stuff she was getting. She was feeling herself. That's why she went on Instagram Live. It's because she was. But I'm just herself. like, yeah. And then when she got slammed for the dumb stuff that she said on that live, and mind you, she still hasn't apologized to the Slayton um, sisters. She still hasn't apologized. Okay, now to we Casey. need to. Who's she the next one? She still hasn't apologized to her audience about candy. The, the, the ghost. Oh, I don't really have any hundred hungry Patrick photos. Because it was a lesser two evils, and on top of that, I think she thought that she would manipulate me into being nicer to her. And that's not going to happen because I don't like you. So um, you can move along. You can move all the way along. I can at least admit when I'm wrong. Apologize. What? When? Why when? are we not? Why that do we have a resolution of like six you pixels? Said, your excuse was your anxiety makes you do and say weird things when you're on Instagram live, which is I've never heard of that before. So like if the American Psychi Psychiatric Association can start um, investigating that claim about how like when you're live streaming, you say and do dumb shit. I would love to know about that. Guys, and try to change that behavior. It's a swollen situation type deal thing. Pretty much my face on a daily basis. OK, so these comments are going to be from the video that I uploaded yesterday. Words of wisdom with Dana. This comment is from 
Robin. Oh, I hate that it does that. Oh, this is my girlfriend. She isn't impressed with me anymore. This is my ex girlfriend um, and her boyfriend. We live with two guys. No, I need to. Together. This is like the most confusing season ever. <laughs> Where's my oh, order? Boy. So many people have issues uh, that me and my ex are friends. I find that to be the most weirdest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Like, point blank, period. Girl, you think that, like, your size isn't weird, so... Oops, that you have some really unhealthy and damaged hair before adding color. You should no, it obviously doesn't work because I know I can't fit in the frame, so I have to save this period. image to my PC so, instead. Yes, my ends have a lot of split ends, especially because uh, it was bleached, and I haven't trimmed it in so long. I will be getting it professionally cut and professionally colored. Eric is always going in on her. He's so shady without even trying to be, and it's hilarious. He, if you I think so, that. you should hear the things that I say to him off of camera. Yeah, because you're not witty to think of any kind of comeback in that moment, because your brain is too dumb. <laughs> that ah! sounded stupid. But you you get what I'm saying. Like, she, she can't think of anything smart to say okay, we're back. we're glitching. So she sits Hold there with on. this befuddled look on her face, like like a deer in headlights. Like she can't, she, it's, in many ways, throwing shade is like a tennis match and you have to hit it back and it's a game to a lot of people, but you have to be somewhat intelligent and witty. Why and are we not giving me the option? Like she's not that. She's, <sighs> she can't do it. We just do for this one. Me and him are very, we just have that like personality and it's actually really funny and it like keeps us on our toes mm -hmm. and it's not like a stagnant, boring friendship. I think it's really funny. Okay. Something's happening. Like, like it's not working. That's school. annoying. We literally do not take it personally. This is annoying me. Oh, Dana and Destiny called and wanted to hang out and spend the night. They must be behind on rent. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I saw so many Tania, people talk about I'm holidays. I'm dead. For money and they only I'm dead. Money. Funny thing is, they paid for everything themselves, and not only that, but they paid for me and Becky. <laughs> I feel like people who are academically smart and never know how to so, use technology in the so sweetest, most oh, ironic way. Multiple nights? I know what you're talking about. Anyways, I know how to use video. tech. It's just this is being finicky in a way that's like me. annoying me. No one knows me. anything. I know everything. The whole fact that that dog was sick and she instead chose to go to Walmart. There and buy we go. Treats Holy Moses. And then go out to eat is all that I need to know about how what her priorities are when it Damn. comes to her fur babies. <laughs> there are none. Um, the diagnosis thing. We all pro we all figured pretty much figured out that it was some it was either a bladder infection or a kidney infection. The cellulitis thing is you know what when you're that big and you don't take care of your body like that and you don't clean yourself and so that's what happens that's stuff that can happen to you um her, her having to constantly make this disclaimer that it can also happen to skinny people yes we know like m like 95 percent of all the sicknesses in the world can happen to skinny people and fat people we understand that like where your audience isn't that stupid but you have to do that because you're somehow trying to rectify or minimize are there any law chris uh, uh, any law cows i wouldn't so cover chris chan immediately immediately no that whole thing about the apology it was a non-apology. I said that from the jump. I knew it what it was. It was just her way of. I actually want to go. Now I heard. Actually, I don't really want to be a teacher. I want to do ed cons uh, ed consulting, which a lot of that is like teaching people how to use tech for education. Which, like, when I did my um, student placement, my teaching placements, my um... oh, I need a picture. Nick Cotto. I don't have one of those either. Uh, my uh, cooperating teacher also said i should do that he was thought i was quite good at it heard it from her mouth that the reason she apologized is because she wanted to change my behavior in some kind of way i think she wanted she wanted to, i think she thought that if she came on me came on here and treated me with a little bit of honey that i would too but girl i don't fuck with false way back whoever I invented the know. web p like, file your mom's a hoe you've never took like actually kind of for any of those things you've said you know what we're gonna use past. this one if and it those works are just the top four things that oh i can think of off the top of my head it. i'm sure if i went back and i really started looking at things i'm sure there's a shit more stuff like like when you when like when you lied about why you were moving from florida to kentucky and it's just like we all the, and you're like oh that was a lie like it, you lie about a lot of really fucked up shit you just do so if you're watching this, and I know you are, because you seem to answer a lot of my, what I have to say in these comment or in these commentaries. I don't know. There's more that you would have to atone for, and it seems to me like that'll never happen because you never think you're wrong. So this, we are what we are. That's all I gotta say about that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B Petty. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles. All right, kids. Um, I'm tired, and my leg hurts from s Sister Sciatica. So, big difference between using tech to do things and making people pretty. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I, yeah, I use, um, I use it for videos and stuff, obviously. But, 
We are going to part ways here. Because I also need to make dinner and things like that. I also print screen into paint. Yeah, real. Like, as the second you're, you're putting up a web P, I'm screenshotting that girl, and that's it. I would go for some of my instructors consulting a tech like that. I had to email an instructor about getting my canvas to work and he forwarded me to IT. Yeah. Another thing that ed consultants do is they'll take like, they'll review like course outlines for difficulty and like changing levels and, and things like that as well. Um, oh, Chantel's moved to too far over. Low key, like I feel like this serves. Oops. Like, I kind of think I popped off. I got to go eat real food, too. Okay, you kids, have fun. These are our slides thus far. And I think this is kind of epic. We also have our, um, our quotes, which will fit between each one of them, that we will then explain. So we've got Amber, this, this. Oops. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. I hope you all have an amazing night. Happy Sunday. Survive the work week, hopefully. Bye, y'all. Bye.